All right, when we last left our crew, they had defeated the giant carbon golem. So it says exploded into seven feral fluid oozes. Uh, the golem had taken its, the construct had taken its toll on the crew. Ailisi had already received her inspiring word from Nala, as had Ozzy. I don't know if anybody else did. Oh, I thought we were going to talk about how I killed it. But uh, <laughs> those people are ineligible for healing at this point from, from, a, stamina, from a stamina perspective from Nala. You know, once again, once in a minute, once a fight. Lots. So, we are at the top of the order. Trigger. You see where everything is. Can you uh, direct yeah, I want to do the shift click trick? If you don't yeah. Mind. Okay. Ah, uh, thank you. You can zoom into like, you know, I'm at like 150%. I'm at 224. <laughs> yeah, it's not. You have plenty of room there. All right, Trigger, you're up. You have one who's to your north, who's board, who's on your, you know, who's adjacent to you. If that one to the south, I would not call it Jason. You're not flanked. Okay. So I, I guess I mean obviously seeing the current landscape, it appears like everybody has their own to fight. So I guess I'm just going to attack the one in front of me. All right. Because I'm assuming since the other one's next to me, if I try to move away towards Ghost or towards Nala, one of them is going to get an opportunity attack, right? Mm. A guarded step, you could get one down to help Nala, or one over to help Ghost. You could not help Ilesi or Sivian. So you could make a guarded step and make an attack to either one of the ones to your south or east. But that other guy I'll just move and flank you then. Southeast would put you in flanking with me, I think. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna shift then over here to the guarded step. Deleted. I'm gonna need the punch and stamina. And then I'm gonna attack the one with ghost. So what did what you do? Okay. You moved over to flank right, so ghost. Yeah. Shifted over here with a guarded step. I don't think you can flank an ooze. Not. Because it doesn't have that ability. It, it, it has... Um, it doesn't have a mind like that. It appears on all sides. <clears throat> so. I think we should be able to fight the juice. So if you want to undo that, Mikey, go ahead. Or if you're just going to focus fire, that's just effective. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually just thinking more focus fire. So... Because I right. think if we all just try to whack on each of them, our individual selves, that's probably going to be pretty futile. Yep. You guys will remember that these have DR5, and they are... Um, that is disregarded for piercing and slashing weapons. Yep. So, all right, what do you got, bud? I'm sorry? What do you got? Well, I'm going to attack with my infernal infernal knife. And uh, probably miss seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, eleven. Eleven against KAC is a miss. Yep. For the record, Bob has two bandies, Mike two, Jeff two, Adam two, Jules three, Chris one. <clears throat> All right, Sivian, who's not here, Bob, you got him. He is. He is flanked. He is cold. He is. He is trouble at being flanked. Yeah. He's got one spell left. I'm just looking up the spell to see if it's a good one. Does he have any healing that's ranged? Uh, yes. I think he's got Mystic Cure. Because he, he I'm hurt real else. bad. Oh, you are? All right. Yeah, I've seen hit points left. Let's see. One standard action. Oh, it's touch. Nuts. It is a uh, touch. Where's Sivian compared to you? Oh, I don't think he can get there without taking some hits. He's down to 13. Oh, he's got 36. He's full health. He's at 13 stamina. But he would have to... I'm way towards him. Okay. You, you're going to work your way towards him? Because he can move... He'll move here if he does a guarded step. So he gets closer to you. And he gets away from being attacked by multiples at the same time. Okay. And then if you can get next to him next turn, then he'll give you a healing touch. Uh, cool. And he'll draw his uh, tactical dueling sword and strike at the creature that he's flanking with uh, with Ilesi. Uh, 
There, there's no flanking bonus though. Understood, but as a mindless creature, you get no flank bonus. Uh, I think I don't remember. I think it's plus five. Hmm. Doesn't he have it in the sheet? Uh, can I access his sheet? I can make it so you can access his sheet. Oh, that'd be helpful. Yeah, then I can just click a button. Oh, I can see his. Sh oh, I can't click on it. Oh, now I can click on his character sheet. Oh, yeah. Tactical dueling sword. If I click on it, uh, how do I? Oh, that's it. Full attack, no. Why is it? Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, uh, yeah. He rolled a very low number, a two. So he oh, sure. any misses. Yeah. Your six was better, Bob. <laughs> Either way, I'm sure it was still a miss. The tentacle goes or slashes through the use, which makes it a big C shape and it misses entirely. Ghost, you're up. Uh, Ghost is going to uh, trick attack on the creature in front of him with uh, the baton. Is okay. that blunt, right? Sorry, it's the um, infernal knife, the slashing infernal knife. Is the CR of the enemy six or less? Yes. The sneak attack is successful. So the creature is now uh, flat-footed, unless does flat-footed not work on this creature? Flat-footed doesn't work, how does this? Then off-kilter. Does off-kilter work on this creature? What does off-kilter do? It makes know. minus two to attacks. Sure. Okay. I knew this last week. I forgot this week. <laughs> do all of the oozes attack at the same time? Yes. Just waiting for the 3D dice to kick in. Is it for you? Yes. Do they all do the exact same thing? No. So, okay. at 21 against KAC. That'll be a hit. And it got hit for max damage of uh, 13 points of stabbing, slashing damage. Alright, 13. Is it dead? But he's not dead. How many points does it take to... How many points does it take to kill an ooze? If this is all D&D, he would be bloody though. How many points of stabbing damage does it take to kill a noose? All right, I should have I'll a growl. All right, I want to come off the box diagonally over to here, so that I'm back to back with Sibia. Sure. Is that just a, a move, a, guard, a guarded, guarded step? Or um, do I need to give it more because I'm coming off the box? That's oh, fine. Then I will do that, and I want to attack the ooze that's between Nala and Sibian with my with my attack lash. I'm oh, not prepared to do yet, but nice. I will. I'm all the way down. I, I at least see that. That doesn't attack, broken action attack opportunity? I guess not, because it would be the difference if it would be just a variation to one, two, huh? Yep. Yeah. Jeff, you could guard it step to your right and pile up on this one creature. Mm -hmm. I can't really hit with anything, though. Hmm. Yeah, you see that one? Still better to focus fire, I suppose. Oh, you know, I'm sorry. Before, I want to do that fighting defensively. That's so I'm going to get through the AC and it's a minus four to hit. Because I don't want to get killed. Eh, it's an 11. Oh, you made a double attack? Oh, no, I did fight defensively, but I so I got a, I I'm pretty sure I missed with an eleven. Yes, you missed with an eleven. But I got a plus two to eight. All right. Three, Dala. I will take a guarded step to here, and I will use my dueling sword. Tactical dueling sword, and I might take that. Adam, what do I get? Do I get plus two on uh, AC next round if I do my uh, defensive? What was it called? Fight defensively, it's a minus four to hit, but a plus two to AC until your next turn. Oh, that's not I a feat. Do... Any, anybody oh, no, can do that? No, that is combat. Uh, uh, that was an Aussie thing. No, good to know. Yeah, there's this thing called rule book. You guys should read it. I'm gonna do that. Read the I rolled a fight defensively. I rolled a natural one. <laughs> oh, it's so wisely. <laughs> well, the creature has a minus two to its attacks as well, so compounded with your defensively, that's a minus four to try to hit you. That's not bad. 
Alright, I least see. Okay, I'm gonna try to dab the you should color code the oozes. Um I'm gonna try to stab the ooze in front of me with my tactical dunes. What? Because it's right in front of me and I yes. want to get rid of it. And it's not been hit yet. Okay. I rolled an eight. Plus, plus my bab of three. That's eleven. Plus do I get up I do I get I don't know if I get any other plus. You do not make right bonus. All right, the oozes get to go. So the can ooze... I take a uh, a guarded step? Nope. <laughs> well, yeah, you you attacked, so you you could still get a move. Yeah, you could move back. I want to get out of the way. <laughs> you don't have anywhere to go. I go away. <laughs> you can move yourself one square. Oh, I go... <laughs> can I can I go under the the table over here? Is this a table? Do you really want to get trapped under a table with an ooze? There you go. I want to just want to go away. Alright, what are you doing? There's no good place to be. There's nowhere to go. I will go right here. Oh no, then they're all surrounding you. Don't do it. <coughs> Stay where you are. Let them come to you. Maybe they'll attack somebody else. Yes. I just didn't want it to be okay, so close there. that it could touch me. Right. I didn't want it to be touching me. It's not. It's still like this. There. All right, this one will advance on Ozzy. Oh boy. Um, the one directly between uh, Ialisi and Sivian. A uh, one, two, it goes to Sivian. A three, four, it goes to Ialisi. That's why I wanted to move away. Well, there. Well, it's it goes gonna be Sivian. Sivian. Yeah, this one will follow over Nala, and this one will close on Ghost. Uh, All right, trigger. Ozzy, trigger. Sorry, Ozzy. Uh, KAC or EAC? They are going to target their, what is it, a slam attack? It sounds like KAC. Pseudo, pseudo pod. Slubs up, slub comes out and tries to club you. What? Alright, you need 25. Alright, I can do that. Plus 10. Oh, plus 10. Oh, that 20. Oh, that 20 was so close. Defensive, one. defensive fighting help there. Ooh, that one does hit. Oh, crap. 28? 28 hits. That is a hit. Uh, 1d6 plus 6 bludgeoning. Alright. This plus 6. How many hit points do you have left? Oh, we gotta get the wall. 7 damage. 12. Okay, 12 left. Alright, what, what is uh, Sivian's KAC, Bob? Uh, Sivian's KAC is... Here we go. Uh, let me get back there. Waiting for the character. Sh oh, there it is. It just was a delay. Uh, armor class KAC seventeen. All right. So the nine is both are hits. Okay. Nine plus fourteen. Ah. Nine plus ten is nineteen ah. and forty. All right. So that would be two D six plus twelve. Two D six plus twelve. What are you guys doing? Uh, we did some on the we did some we did on the steps. Twenty one damage to Sivian. So he may have to touch himself. His thirteen stamina oh, are gone, and that leaves eight yeah, minus yeah, his yeah. Uh, his hit Not points. So he's at twenty eight hit points remaining. Don't give me room too. All right. It's too high. Too much alcohol. Trigger's not there right now. Twenty eight hit points. Nala. On the bottom shelf. Nala twenty one versus KAC. I had 18 KAC plus my bonus. It was plus two, Adam. It was yes. plus two, so that's a 20. So my 21 is still a hit. Which you one, which one was attacking, Josh? Just to clarify. Uh, the one to Nala's left. Okay. okay. Nala, you are taking 12 damage. Who's attacking? What's up, that guy? All right, uh, Mikey, KAC. KAC is uh, 19, I guess. Do I get a plus or no? No. Okay, 19. Uh, even even with his flanking, he doesn't get a bonus. Because he got 5 plus 10 is 15, plus 2 is 17, so that's still a miss. Josh, uh, how much damage did I take? 12. I just texted you. I mean, put it in the chat window. All right, and the one between 
trigger and ghost will attack ghost since ghost hit him. Uh, ghost, what is your AAC? Uh, higher than the 18 that you rolled. Uh, All right. But it would be a 16 that you rolled because he's off kilter right now. He gets the minus two. Okay, so. Trigger, you're back up. The one between Ghost and Trigger is damaged. I don't think anybody else is damaged. All right, then I'm going to keep whacking at the one between Trigger, I mean, between Ghost and... Okay. Uh, uh, oh, that, that's better. So, uh, 21. That is a hit. Yes. Yes. And... D4 right there. Just for the sound, I know it's a D4. Yep. Uh, six points of damage. You added your right. level into that, right? Uh, oh, no. So, uh, eight points of damage. Sorry. Um, All right. He's hurt. Oh, he's almost down, but he is not out. Sivian. Uh, Sivian also has uh, one of the healing serum marks, too. So, which do you prefer to be healed with a level one cure, which does uh, where did that go? One d, one d. Uh, oh, depending on their spells. Yeah, one d eight plus his wisdom, or do you want the the what is it? Three d eight for the mark two cure. Um, yeah, three d eight would be better. Whatever does more. Okay, then he's gonna do the three d eight. Uh, Sivian produces from his packet as a quick action the uh, Mark II Serum of, uh, Serum of Healing and moves over. It doesn't even move because they're back to back. He just turns around and jams it right into Ozzy's thigh. And Dude, you could have done so much better than just, just stab him right back and hit him with a butt with it. Come on! <laughs> I rolled an 8 and a 6 and a 1. So 15 hit points restored. Better than what he could have cast. All right. He's got a move action. Um, there's no flanking anymore, so does it make sense to be surrounded by three of these guys? No. He is going to uh, guard at step. Uh, maybe if he goes this way, they'll all focus on Ozzy, perhaps. So maybe he'll come this way. And so that at least divides them, hopefully. And that's his, his turn. Can he squeeze like that? What's that? Assuming these were Jason squares, can he squeeze through them like that? Yes. Don't say okay. that. He's small. Right. Go, Strip. Uh, I guess trick attack on the guy in front of him. Ooh. Is the CR on the creature four or less? Yes. Okay, the trick attack portion succeeds. Great. He strikes with his infernal dagger. Inferno dagger. Now I'm waiting for the 3D dice to register. Any minute now. I was mounting the 3D dice. Any minute now. Turned off 3D dice. Yeah, Come on, baby. I think I'm going to have to. My gosh, this is a pregnant pause, isn't it? Uh, I'll just... Oh, uh, 15 against KAC. Is it just a hit? Just barely a hit for 10 points of stabbing slash slashing damage. And the ooze is destroyed. And he still has a movement, so the he will... The ooze melts away. Say again? The ooze melts away. Oh, Where does it go? <laughs> it dissolves. Uh, he'll use his move. Oh, go. Because, like, remember that episode of Stranger Things? Where, like, stuff dissolves... And then it went and it dissolved and it reformed somewhere else. Is it going to reform somewhere else? All right, no, it's. All right. Are we actually done? That one is. Ooh, Ozzy, you are up. I was just going to attack that same one that's between um, Sivian and Nala. Well, no, whatever. Not between, but he's going to do a normal attack this time. Oh, really? Attack. Even though you're surrounded by three? There, well, there, yeah, there but you guys aren't going to just take them out as quickly as possible. Okay. Maybe. I put a blue dot on the one to the left oh, of Oh, yes, you did. Are you attacking that one, Adam? You, should, you could pick any yeah, other color than the one that isn't... I'm attacking the one to the northeast of that. He's ta attacking the one that is adjacent to both Sivian and Nala. Yeah. Oh, easy. Because I have a reach on my way. Oh, shoot. Okay. I, I, I see. Sorry. 
You're attacking green. Yes. Really sucks having no bonus. 21 versus KAC. Oh, that's definitely going to be a hit. I like it. All slashing damage. So, seven. Seven slashing? Well, I hit for 12. Well, you said it was, it was slashing damage? Yes, yeah, seven sla uh, yeah, 12 so slashing. It, it, is, it is vulnerable to that, so you do the full damage. Excellent. And that was green? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Alright, Nala, what are you doing? Uh, you said there is no flanking, right? Doesn't matter? Doesn't yeah. matter. Um, I am going to attack the, the you know, purple one is the one that's hurt. None of them have been hit yet. Well, those are hurt over there with you guys. No, the, pur the purple one is, is almost dead between Ghost and I, yes. No, Jeff. no, we, we killed another one already. And then you already killed one that was close to death. Then Ghost ran around him and then reflanked. Oh, um, okay. Go for the, for the purple one uh, using a defensive stance. Okay. I rolled a 10. I have a natural minus one to hit, plus another minus four, I believe, so a five. Uh, that's gonna call it a miss. You need to practice that sword a little more. If you can get out and shoot, Jeff, you can at least get one damage. Yeah, you, you can you can do guard step here and start shooting next turn. Although his his fire would be, um, the damage reduction would would, would affect it because it's not slashing or piercing. Does your guns is your gun still the one d four azimuth, or you've got something better now? I got the uh, uh, the other one, the better one. Okay. Yeah, is it a greater pistol? No. I... Please. What's it called? I think it's a little. Hey, Jules, angle your like. You, you have to pick your head. Lens up. pistol. Oh, lens pistol. Okay. Hey. And it goes back to almost where it was before. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's that's too much. Of you. Speaking of which, I Lisi, you're up. All right, cool. I'm going to try to stab it with my sword again. Go get him. All right. Hold on and get away with this time. Ozzy, do you still need healing? Or hold on. Is it working? No. Not at the moment. No, 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 you're over to it. No, this is the bad guy. Yeah, I was giving it another chance. Okay. I let it out of the dice. Right. It turns out it's not ready to be back in the real world. All <laughs> right. Go back to quarantine. So... Uh, Ozzy, back to the back. Ozzy hit the blue one, so that means yellow, orange, hit and green. Blue will be targeting hit Ozzy. Green. Yellow will be targeting. Uh, actually, Ozzy attacked yellow, so he's going to move. Ozzy attacked green. He attacked I mean, green. That's green. Green. Uh, I, at least you get an opportunity to attack against green. Oh, really? Yes. Go ahead. Wait. I'm going to shoot it. Because yeah. I can't this far away. No, you, you stab it as it walks away. Oh, cool. Do I have to roll or anything? You have to roll the I... hit. Oh, I'm not gonna... <laughs> no, I'm not going to make it. I feel like the bug man. Hey! 17 is a hit. New dice. Damage. Four plus. You have any bonus for damage? Why would I have... I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Not right now. I do later. All right. To me. Are you something you're proficient with? I'm not proficient with the sword. I don't think. Am I? I thought everybody became proficient at like third level. Oh, yes. that's right. Oh, that that's the same as the gun. Yeah. Just to clarify, uh, oh, proficiency is different than the third level thing. The third level thing gives you extra damage for weapons that you are proficient in. Proficiency Profi is determined by your class and your feats. It's it's. It's you get the damage for things that are you're proficient in by your class, right? So, you, but I think more. the sword is a melee basic, if I'm not mistaken. So everybody's proficient in basic melee weapons. Your level damage and any strength if you have a strength bonus. Yep. Oh. You don't have a strength bonus, do you? Uh, I don't think so. No. All right, so that ooze is hurt very badly now. Wait, he said plus my level too. Yep. Oh, yeah. I give you plus four. 
Hey, how do I make four distinct roll D20 rolls, Bob? Um, how do you how do you make what? Four distinct D20 rolls. Oh. Four times? I think roll four times. Okay. Never mind then. There's a way to do it, I think. I just don't know the syntax. Me neither. A comma? Maybe slash roll one D four, comma, one D four. The surefire way to do it is just do it four times. Alright. That works. Yeah. Seventeen is a miss. Seventeen's a miss. Nineteen's a miss. Thirteen's a miss. Twenty-six. Orange and green should get flanking on you. All right, so those are the two lowest ones. Sure. Good. I didn't call it out, so sure. So one hits you. <laughs> oh, I, I, I didn't do it right. I'll call it out. I'll call myself out of that one. Eight, so eighteen would have missed flanking. D six plus six. Eleven damage. What are you down to now, Ozzy? Dang, it just keeps not saving. So it's 12 plus 15 minus How 11. Is it working or not? Would you just make anything good? And you just hit me for 11, so I'm down to 16. All right, now uh, the one to your left is attacking you. 15 versus KAC. Miss. All right, and the purple one is attacking. Uh, 1, 2, Ghost, 3, 4, Trigger. Trigger. Uh, Ooh. 28 to hit trigger. Oh no, trigger, yeah. you just got yeah. hit by a pseudopod of sludge. You got slapped for, for 9 points of damage. Slap! Big slow goo whacked you for 9 damage. But you I think it's, it's your turn to hit back. <laughs> He's doing so okay. Nine. He's got 16 stamina still. He's still in positive stamina land. Oh, he's got 22 stamina. I was looking at his bullets. You still oh, actually haven't taken, you haven't taken your damage yet, because I did this 9. Is, this is the first time Trigger has taken damage in this massive drop-down fight. Holy no, moly. No, 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 Bob. I, I already took damage. I'm oh, just, okay. So 23 minus 9 is 14. Yes, sir. Chris Hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. Hey, everybody. Your interview. Did you get the job? Hey, Chris. Uh, were you interviewing or being interviewed? In doing the interviewing. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so is my turn to go again? It is still your turn to go, yes. You took your damage. Now it is your turn. All right, purple. Should, we, should we tell him that we use Sivian as a human shield? Nice. <laughs> I, I knew I was going to die. Oh, no, 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 you're not dead yet. You're, you're on your last save. Uh, 21. Hit. Oh, Ooh, Max damage, 10 points. Woo. Nice. Ooh, it's all All right. Got it. Sivian's up. Okay, I am going to target whomever is the worst hurt. Green. You want to no. hit the green one. He's hurt. I'm gonna have to... Hold on, give me a shift thing so I can uh, so I can locate where we are here. Oh, there we are. Uh, right in front of green. Oh, right in front of green. Wait, who's that blue guy? Another bad guy, but he's fully... He's less dead. He's Why the heck am I in front? You uh, ran to save Ozzy's life. You busted out one of the Mach 2 serums and you injected it in his thigh and you kept him from dying. Oh, could have used a, pro could use a projectile there. What do I have? Uh, 28 of 36 points left. Okay, so I'm going to go with the green and I'm going to... Am I in melee range? Yes. Yep. I'm going to use I'm gonna use my sword because that does slashing damage. Yep. You're out of stamina. You took some hits, but you still got 28 health out of 36. And I, I hit the roll button. Just give it a minute. Oh, hold on. Ooh. Did a 14? Is that uh, against its EAC, is Ooh. it? No, KAC? KAC. Could be good. KAC is a 15. Hey, Adam, a... maybe you could lift up your, your screen Wait, a little bit. I have, I have a plus one because Jeff, uh, yeah, Jeff did a uh, get him away. attack. No, he did did you, right? Did you do it, Jeff? <laughs> no. Get him. 
Now, plus one, get him. Oh, man. <laughs> well, so close. That probably would have killed him, too. I wonder. It might have killed him. Damn. There was a good chance of that. All right, go you're up. Do uh, I have a Benny? Wait, do I have a Benny left? You do have a Benny left. You have one. Ah, use it. Come, using it. <laughs> we gotta kill him. Wait, wait a minute. Yeah. Who are you? <laughs> yes. Uh, Same city. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, no. Oh, that's horrible. Never mind. That's okay. That's worth a Benny. Wow. We have another <laughs> Benny. You could use your last nope. Benny. I only had one. Oh, you only had one. All right. Uh, I'm gonna target the purple guy, and I take uh, a guarded. I guarded. I take a guarded step backwards. By the way, you can move yourself. I did. Oh, yeah, nice. I'll tank these all by myself. No problem. <laughs> uh, nine or less uh, on C enemy CR. So I think the stealth, the trick attack worked. If you agree. Yes. Okay, and then the survival knife. I mean, not the survival knife, but the uh, infernal knife. Waiting for that to resolve. On flabbit knife. 27 Woo! against KAC. Still it. KAC is 15. Okay. Oh, it's a natural 19. Almost a crit. And 9 points of damage. And... Let's see. Should I go... 9 damage? Yeah. I'm just debating if I should go help Ozzy. Because I'm still pretty healthy. It's yeah, hurt it's bad, but it's dead. Uh, he's going to leave this fight to go assist Ozzy. He's going to put himself right there. There's no opportunity attack from the purple guy, but there is an opportunity attack from the red guy. Oh, wait, no. Uh, he'll run the other way. He'll go north instead of south. Nope, there's still an opportunity attack. Never mind. Uh, he still All takes right. an opportunity attack from the red guy. All right, one opportunity attack. 15 versus KAC. KAC's 20. I swear, I don't believe I, I, you know, ninety percent of my rolls are less than ten right now. <laughs> I am That's fine. sucking. Hey, it. Did you use any spell slots, Bob? Did I use any? No, you still have your mystic. You have a one one level spell remaining. Okay. Hey, Bob, can I make a suggestion? Yeah. Move ghost along the south side because green is going to go down. Maybe for Miley's or Sibian. That's an easy one for them. Yellow and blue are still fresh. Okay, agree. He'll uh he'll flank yellow. Yeah, there's no flank bonus, but yeah, I think it's better. You just cut it off. Good there. idea. Ozzy, you're up. Ozzy's going to attack green. I think he's going to have to fight defensively. What do you think? Eight versus KAC? KAC, 18 is I, it. I didn't, we did push. 13 slap. You killed it. Nice. <laughs> It was another one. I'm gonna take a guarded step back here, try and get him to fight me one of them. I've done nothing. You like to fuck it. Assuming they don't just climb over the boxes. Nala, you are up. Um, purple is fairly significantly hurt. Red is untouched. Uh, I'll take a guarded step backward, and then I will fire at the uh, purple one. Okay, I'm going to remind you that if you do that, your gun shoots fire and has damage reduction 5 to fire. It does not have damage reduction to your sword. Yeah, so I actually hit the gun. Well, I'm safe. Good. Uh, I'll stay there, and I will attack and use my uh, defensive attack. Defensively? <laughs> Stop. You, if you're not moving, you can use get him to give yourself the plus 2. Plus 1. Plus 1 on uh, purple. Get him. Oh, wow. Firing. Uh, last time I had a natural 10, that was nowhere close. I have a natural 11 this time. Ooh. Do you have a bonus? No, I have a minus 1 to hit. Oh. Minus the other minus 4, but plus 1. I think I still that, that almost makes up for it, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> Again, oh, and you chose wisely with the fight defensively. Okay, I'm gonna... If you fired with a, melee, a ranged weapon, would that have hit? Unarmed. All of them are unarmed. I don't think so. Okay. All of them? Orange, green, and blue. I just go to blue. Okay. I'm going to that. Definitely. Blue. Oh, 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 my. There's no reason you can't go. Yeah, that was sitting in the 
you're not in his way. He wants to shoot or whatever he wants to do. I'll just gonna go right here. Don't, don't get the mix in there. Get for the back. Because mm -hmm. then Priya Queen can hit you. Queen's dead. No. The one that I can't see because of Bob's stats. Yellow. Sorry. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna try to use my stupid dueling sword. So we're using a good dice. Roll the 19. That's my bad, which is 3. Oh, you want to look at her box like those rules are. What's your damage? Get in there. 1 plus. Apparently, plus my level. Plus so 4. Nine, so six. 5. 5. Five. I can do math. That d20 and that d6. Thank you. Alright. This is my good d20. The oozes are up. Oozes are up. Everybody will take an attack except for Sivian. What? Adam. Fuck Ozzy man. will be attacked. Oof, that oh, 20 almost came up again. 18 versus KC is a miss, correct? That's a big miss. Do, which one is attacking me? The one that's on the corner of me? Uh, or or or. Okay, does he want to move directly in front of me, or is he happy where he is? Yeah, you'll scoot that inch to make it look prettier. Oh, I didn't even see that guy over there. All right, yellow versus ghost. So dark. 20 AAC, uh, KAC. That is an 18, Woo. plus 10 is 20, that is a hit. Oh. D6 plus 6, ghost takes 9 damage. I at least see. 18 versus KAC. I uh, pretty sure that's it. It's 18, you're right, yeah. 8 damage. Ugh. Fine. Trigger. Hit. 20 versus KAC. Wait, yep. is that the purple guy or the red guy fighting? Pur purple gets a minus 2 because he's off kilter from the trick attack. All right, Still? So 18 versus your KAC, Bob. I mean, my E. Thank you, Bob. That's a miss now. Yeah! I got All you, right. Trigger. Don't you worry, I got you, Trigger. Nice. Dallas KAC, I know it's a hit. Dallas uh, takes 8 damage. These things are bad, guys. Whew. Actually, they only have 25 hit points. This is just a quantity. You just got to keep focus fire and take them out before they kill us. That's it. So, so the, the lens pistol does 3 to 10 damage. So you have a potential of actually doing some damage with it. Uh, As yeah, opposed to melee, where you have no chance. All right, Trigger, you're up. All right, so Trigger is going to continue to do what he's been doing because Ghost told him to focus fire. So he's going to run over to tap the yellow one? <laughs> so he's going to go over and continue to attack the one that he was fighting. Do you want to Do you want to hold off uh, just real quick until I can give you flanking? You can't get flanking out of my flanking on these guys. These That's are the not oozes, so they can never be surprised. You can't. There's no behind then to, to stand behind. So t Bombs. 20. Jeff. 20 hit. Ooh. I'm Josh. Jeff, Josh. Uh, Don't forget to add. Nine, point, nine points of damage. Nice one. Trigger takes care of this ooze too. Good job, Trigger. <laughs> I like this knife. <laughs> All right. You are up. It is a collector Red. item. All right. Red is unharmed. Blue. Oh, red's on. Blue had five damage done to it by Ilesi. Uh, do, does does Nala look uh, hurt to me? No, it's just fire. Oh, hi. Focus How fire. you doing? Focus fire, dude. All right, blue it is. Taking a taking a sword slash. I I move sword one. <laughs> oh, hey. Yes. Hold on, I can't. Woo! Six damage. Nice, and I take a guarded step backwards. Pew, pew. Wait, you had to that. move. You had to move forward, though. Didn't you, you can't do that. <laughs> no, I, I didn't. I, I didn't. I just yeah. never went. Put a deadlands. You can't stop and start. Dang. I could have thrust it or parried or something. All right, ghost, you're up. Uh, the yellow one in front of you was unharmed. The blue one is definitely hurt. It's going to be the blue one. A trick attack once again. Adam, I believe you can hit the blue one on your turn too. Ozzy can reach him. Actually, I'm already planning on it. Uh, 
Stealth, I've yep. got, uh, nine or less, good. And then the attack on the Infernal Knight. So we drank 14 uh, chocolate milks there. Yeah. Dice. Five, Ooh, look at that! 26. Jeff still has a mute button. Oh. 14 damage? Wow, there's the trick attack yep. in action. It had 14 hit points. Ooh, how about <laughs> that? It has 25. You did 5, Chris did 6, Bob did the rest. Whew. Are you moving or is the area staying? Uh, well, um... You better go give an option if, if Ozzy's hurt. I'll go. I'll go in between orange and yellow. Where's the yellow? Oh, I didn't know the yellow was there. It's hard to see when you guys have your stat blocks like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That fine mist. That's the end of a uh, ghost turn. Yeah, but they're so cool. It is cool. Ozzy. He's gonna fight defensively against orange. With his. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Okay, see if 15 is a hit. Alright, does 13, 13 damage. Smashing, yeah. Ouch. Nice one. He would be bloody if he was D&D. &D. <laughs> and, and I get my plus 2 to AC. Yep, now you, you are up. Wait, do you want to move? You could try it. Well, I don't know. You're fine where you are. Get further right? back into the corner? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hello. I'm back after with my so. Alright. Now you're targeting EAC? I assume it was a hit. We have no idea what you said. Minus two is a hit. 23 is a hit. Whoa, 23, well done. And a one damage, so three damage. Did you add your level? Oh, wait, that's you're how ranged. he got to three. He's ranged. Oh, that's right, half his level. What, what did you ask? Are you including the damage reduction or no? Three damage. It is unaffected. What'd you shoot it with? My lens pistol. Okay. What does that do for damage? Bomb fire? Like 1d8 or something. Okay. Yeah, fire. Plus, and it is fire, yeah. I at least see. It is your turn. Um, it puts you in a hard spot. You're not going to eat because you move in there to attack orange, he's already hurt. Yellow's there. You can try a disintegrator pistol. I was going to attack yellow. Okay. My, my sword. Yeah, use your sword. Use your sword. My S sword. Definitely, definitely use an attack Ooh. one. An attack. That's a natural twenty. Guys, what? Sword. We got a natural twenty. Uh, we got a natural twenty. Where's yeah. the attack lash now? <laughs> <laughs> so it's two d six. I got a one. And another one. <laughs> Oh my god, trade those in. Oh, that's horrible. Does she, does she have a level both times or just one time? Uh, both, I think. Yeah, I thought so too. So there's 10. Can you I have a crit effect? Did you buy sauce? Oh, that's true. She has, her, she has her level. That's good. There's no, there's no crit effect. There's no crit effect. See, so it's 10. If you really want to use a Benny to reroll, do we, we reroll damage with a Benny? Do we have to reroll a hit then? I think we're gonna hit. Reroll the hit. Yeah. You gotta reroll the flash. Oh, I don't want to reroll the hit. So That's deal, fine. deal with your 10 damage and, and, and celebrate. I tried to explain to him where it was, and he said he didn't care and he walked away. Jeff, hit the friggin' mute button! <laughs> <laughs> no, he cared. Adam, you can mute Jeff, right? <laughs> but I can't mute him. I have two things on two different screens, and I'd oh. have to, like, hear him for. He knows he's gonna talk. I'm not pressing. Yeah, yeah. See if you Jules, if you'd hit the orange one, it would have been dead. Yeah, but you could have gotten over there without... The, the chances of that were pretty slim. She, like that? She would have put herself yeah, in harm's way. Did the other one have an opportunity way. attack? It would have had an opportunity attack, but you could have both hitting you at the same time. No, yeah, no, no, she's attacking melee, so there's no opportunity attack. No, but they both could have targeted her, which she they did could not. They could have, yeah. She exposes herself to two attacks. Also, Lucy's too afraid to get that close to both Uzi's at the same time. Hmm. Just saying. Bugman! That's why we safe fire. What are you doing now, Bugman? Oh. Why are you standing there? Do something! I also like Jules' crit did less damage than my normal hit. My fight defensive, actually. Was it my turn? Yeah, you're up, buddy. 
Oh, my bad. I thought it was Ooze's turn. Why are you standing there, Bugman? Pay attention! Attack! Oh, sorry, man. The Ooze is... Oh, wait a minute. It's what supposed to go me, and then the Ooze, and then Trigger, and then oh, Bugman. Oh, crap. I deleted the Ooze who was in the in it or... Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, I missed anyway, so take that for my turn. Oh, that's unfortunate. No, wait, that's no, why, wait, wait. I, so that's I, why I thought it was went, the Ooze. I at least he went... Trigger... Wait, where, where are we here in the list? How does... How do we so, get to where we are? It's After... Oh, the oozes are supposed to go. Right. Alright, so... And then Trigger's supposed to go. Right, so, I don't know where Trigger went. So, yeah, somewhere we messed up here. So, what I can do... I can add one back in. Hold on a second. Yeah, see, now you're confusing me, Bob. See? I knew I wasn't supposed to go. I'm sorry, I'm just looking at the turn order, and your name was up. My apologies. No. Brother. You were oh, right. Oh, gosh. I mean, see the turn order as is. I don't have... We're right there. We're right there. Alright. Yellow is going to attack Ilisi since it did actually... Wait a minute. Chris, you... You didn't go yet. Nope. I at least see the damage, so it will attack her. Twenty-five versus KAC is a hit. Mm. Take an additional eight damage. What do you do? At least see. That's a good non-descript term. Let me or, know when you get down to. What are you down to, Jules? Take out eight. 14 hit points, not too bad, but okay. not great. Who was the one who hit orange? Me. Ozzy. Ozzy? 24 Me. versus K. Uh, thanks to my fight defensively, that missed. Yeah! All right. And then red versus trigger. 19 KAC. Oh, Whoa. yeah. Or less than 12. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Trigger's up. I'm always skip this turn last time. Alright. So Trigger is going to attack the red one in front of him. Uh, 18, 19, 20, 21. 22. And 10 points of damage. Whoo! Ah! What are you doing, Bugman? I was running away. Why are you running there. away? <laughs> All right, I guess I'll come back. And I miss. Go ahead and take your turn again. No, no, no. That was a roll. That was a uh, twelve. I missed, but now closer. All right. Uh, Sivian went. Ghost is up. Uh, assume Orange is the one that's more damaged right now. Only by. Yes. And it looks like trick attack part worked. Now for the actual attack. CR 17 or less. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was a high roll. I probably wasted it on that. Now we're going to get a one. Yep. Oh, I got a one. I did get a one. Uh -huh. So when I strike with my knife, uh, I miss. That's too bad. It would have been max damage. Or almost max damage. All right. Hey, Ozzy, where's your face? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Ozzy is up. Don't give Ozzy a hard time. Ozzy's, Ozzy's, Ozzy's owner might be helping me out for work. <laughs> uh, I will attack the orange one again. I'm feeling brave, so I'm not going to fight defensively. Oh, double, attack attack. double attack instead. Oh, I like bubble attack. Double attack. You could totally yeah, still, do that. That's, that's a minus four. I'm not doing that. I want to make sure I hit. That's why I'm not fighting defensively. All right. KC-15. Natural Ooh. 20! Whoa! Nice. 28 Ooh. points of damage? Is that, is that good? He had 12 left, so 14 more than kills him. 28 <laughs> points of damage. Lovely. Can that spill over to the yellow? <laughs> right. <laughs> next, All right. Next, uh, next level, I am going to take cleave. Are you moving out or staying where you are? Is moving or staying where he is? Oh, no, I'm, I'm going to stay where I am. I'm, I'm sore. That range too is nice, huh? <laughs> Nala, you're up. Uh, I'm gonna fire again at the uh, red guy. Okay. Did it look like it didn't do any damage because it was fire, or just because I rolled so poorly? B. Yes. Okay. You got to do five damage. You got to do six damage or more with that weapon to harm. Yeah, DR five. Natural nineteen is gonna hit. Yeah. Yes, it is. Five. Uh, four damage this time. 
Nothing. <laughs> are, are you taking points, don't take points away from your strength, or you're taking points away. He's he's ranged. He's doing ranged. Right, so you shouldn't take points away from having lousy strength. No, but you you don't do as much damage with like you right, add no, your I, level to a melee, but you you add half your level to a small arm. Okay. At least see. Are you moving, Jeff? No. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna try. But to I will say, get that get that one of the red. Mm. Get. Say it right. Get. Get him. Where's the French? Get him. Ah, uh, there it is. Well, that time I didn't. I missed. I at least he did not get them. We'll always I have that 20. I tried and failed nice. to get the wrong one. All right. Uh, red will attack trigger. A 19 versus KAC. That is uh, exactly a hit. Oh, I thought you had a 20. No, 19. 10 damage. Damn. Uh, Ghost, 1. Xivian, 2. I at least 3. This rolls D3. What does a D3 look like? It won't let me roll D3. What? Really? It did! It rolled a 1. Oh, there it is. Okay. It didn't, it didn't show up right away. So, okay, Ghost. Yep. K KAC of 20. 26. It's gonna be a hit. Max damage 12. Max damage of 12 re takes his stamina down to one stamina left. Alrighty. You're still in stamina? Hey, the secret of a good fight is not to be there when they strike at you. <laughs> it's the bug when he's not playing. I <laughs> 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 at least he whips out an open price that down, goes. Trigger, you're up. Alright, so Trigger. Ghost, could you just say that one more time into the recorder? Uh, yes, I will shorten it for you. Kill it! <laughs> <laughs> Natural 20. Oh, yeah. Ghost, I feel like that's something that people are going to put on a nice background and put all over Google Images someday. So... What is Google Images? Four, five, six, seven. Seven plus three... Fire... Three burns. Okay, so seven damage. Plus oh, three burn damage. Right, okay. That's doubling your, uh, your base... A damage roll? Uh, is the base on the Inferno Knight double two? So if you roll a crit, then whatever the uh, base is, you double that, and then you add whatever the crit is as well. Oh, see, so when I read it in the book, it just looked like you got an extra 6 burn damage. Nope. No. Uh, on any, any crit, uh, you always double the base and you get the burn in whatever the extra crit okay is. so the base was seven so that'd be 14 actually i think you get to roll it you don't uh you get to do another roll to double it yeah roll another d whatever and then add your 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 Static. base damage uh it's i i actually rolled the exact same no it's a seven uh, all right <laughs> so another seven so right. total of 14 plus three burn all right he's hurt badly he's nice. still up civian Yellow has been hit. Yellow sword. Maybe. Here we go. Swinging at him. Nope. What Welcome back, Sivian. Bugman, you what is that? Okay. You are like back I, in the jungle. I, I, I should stop using my little hands, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, what right, is with go. those little hands? <laughs> uh, you have to be you back. back. Successful. He pulls, he pulls out a peanut and eats it with his little hands. <laughs> Uh, natural, not a natural, a 20 on KC with 9 points of slashing damage. Alright, he is struggling to maintain his form. Ozzy. Oh, he's got blow up oh, and 8 he's, little, little oozes. He's going to use his move, and he's moving to come into flank with help out uh, his friend Trigger. So does that attack up an opportunity attack? Uh, it would normally be, but uh, he's got a new ability. Not a new ability, but he's got an ability if you target somebody with a trick attack, they don't get a, a opportunity attack on you. Okay. Ozzy, you're up. Attack. Watch it, man. I'm right next to him. Oh. 15 versus he just 15. Missed he missed, he missed by one. one. Son of a... Oh, that probably would have killed it too. Oh, it would have definitely killed it. Get him! 
Dang it. <laughs> where's where's Frenchy Nala? <laughs> it is Frenchy Nala's turn. Oh, speaking of. Uh, she's gonna fire, say, let's focus on this red one. And... Frenchy Nala. <laughs> Sixteen is a hit. Imagine Nala was colorblind. This would suck. <laughs> Wait, six damage. Do you mean this one, Nala? Focus on Nala will be regularly blind. Gray one. The, gr okay. the gray so one. Which one is the? Nobody <laughs> is wearing gray, Nala. Okay. What are you talking you about? The, Nala, you scratched it. <gasps> nice. Nice, Nala. Uh, you have ooze under your nail. I only see. I want to stab it with my sword again, because that's all that I can do. I don't have it. It's I hit it. If you roll well, you kill it. I kill it. I rolled a four, not a one, plus another four. That kills this one. Yeah. Yeah. I killed it. All right. Go fucking kill it like you said. Like, he's might, good. Good job there, Alicia. Trigger, triggers burn damage, kills the other one. We'll Ooh. take it, Ace. Even though damage resistance exists, and it was only three. Oh. We're taking it. Yeah, it's, it's pointless. You guys are just hammered to death anyway. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Sifting through the globs of protoplasm <laughs> and other ick. I spent the resolve point. <laughs> <laughs> same, same. Oh, should you I? Guys, I'm... Might as well. Note the I'm taking a nap in the corner. I got the rest of the treasure here. So there's a treasure, note treasure, in your treasure. uh mm -hmm. handouts that says uh, session fifteen treasure. And that's the two rings of resistance, the two thermal capacitors. There's more to that note that I'm revealing now. Oh <gasps> you kept part of the treasure hidden from us? Yeah. So if you go into there, you'll see more. Are you going to reveal sure that for us? Yes. Oh, okay. So you find a searing grip, which is a burn grapple type thing. You find a hand cannon swagger. Whoa! That's... You find a you find freebooter armor too. I call dibs on the swagger. Two Mark II healing serums. Ooh. A data pad. Oh. And a piece. A piece. <gasps> I have two. I take the piece and I, this is the piece we already had. This is the new piece. Yeah, that's correct. I only oh, see this for my bag. This is part of a super powered weapon that can destroy suns and destroy civilizations. Are you sure you can handle this? <laughs> hmm. I wonder yeah. if we should give them one to one person and one to another. Okay. Just if it's made of real wood. Don't eat it. Don't do not eat it. What are you doing, ILDC? Alright. Is that bad a thing that people do? <laughs> Alright. So, so you have I'll, to... grab, I'll, I'll grab the data pad and see if there's anything I can find on it. Alright, you will. Let's let's do the treasure quick. Go identical. Gra grab the hand can would... fire. Since nobody else picks stuff, I pick stuff at random. I kinda missed the, the tables, but I can there's a, a website to do it for me. So searing grip. Searing grip. Tell us about searing searing grip. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was originally designed for artists who craft their visions in various metals. The grip has several layers of insulation to separate the wearer's hands from the resistance coils lining the palm of fingers. As such, the glove was often mistaken for a well, for a simple well instead of work glove. It actually does one d six force and one d six burn grab on a grapple. So you hold, you put it, you put your hand on somebody, and you're burning them with your hand. Yes. Interesting. Yeah, I thought it was neat. So you guys got it. And so then, you could be like, you could be like strangling them, and then also be burning them at the same time. Yes, yeah, you could. That's pretty cool. I don't know who wants that. That might be a fun Aussie intimidation tool, but that's up to you guys. Uh, the Freebooter Armor Two is level six, plus six EAC, plus eight KAC. Max dex bonus of plus five and has one upgrade slot. That is an awesome piece of armor. 
Is that a light armor? I assume it is. It is it's max armor. armor. I, would love that armor. I, I mean, I'm already at a max dex of plus five, but then it's perfect for you, right? If, if any, yeah, I, yeah, that's what I mean. It's actually, but if anybody else needs that, you know, boost, I mean, you're you're in combat all the time, man. I say, go for it, unless there's objections. That, that's why. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll take it unless somebody needs it. All right. Anybody? Once, twice. So, two mark, two searing, healing serums. I think Sivian should take I one since he just. Yeah, used Sivian one. should take one to replenish the one that Bob used for a while. Here. All right. <laughs> and what about our other serum? Uh, maybe Nala. For what? Uh. Maybe take one of the Mark II healing serums. Jack, I need to come visit. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. It's in my freezer or my uh, garage for you. I, I wouldn't mind either for... the ring of re one of the ring of resistances or thermal capacitor. Those were last week. Yeah, but uh, I think one of the thermal capacitors were not taken. Right? We, yeah, we still have we still have a thermal capacitor if you want that, Jeff. I think that makes we, sense. We, I, it's yours. I have one. Uh, you can have the other. Who, who else? Is, uh, Sivian's got one. You've got one, and then there's one more. Uh, I think uh, Ozzy took it. The thermal capacitor. You have one. You need the upgrade slot though in your armor. Yeah, he swapped out the uh, quick draw and put the right. thermal capacitor in. No. Have the uh, Thanos snappy glove, right? So Nala, that's yours, but you'll just have to lose the ability to see in darkness because I think you have a armor upgrade for infrared vision right now. I, I just deleted my armor. You deleted your armor. <laughs> he had a good one. Did you have like D suit two or something? I think you had a pretty good one. Yeah, he had like a D suit that we also picked up somewhere else. Yep. It was hide. Some of the hide, wasn't it? That's my armor. That's oh, your armor? Okay. I have the Deflex hide. Okay. Yeah, I'm it's pretty sure Nala's got the D-suit too. With oh yeah, it's in Bob's card sheet. Which she has to send out because we leveled up anyway. Sorry about that. I was stuck on uh, calls all, all day. Stupid work. They just don't understand. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Alright, so... Oh, a ghost looks very... Uh, enamored with this nasty looking massive gun it is huge it glistens it looks like it packs a tremendous punch oh you and I are going to be good friends oh look at you look at this he points towards a wall he fires he steps back three paces there's a and hole knocks him off his feet knock yes. yourself. first time it knocks him off his feet and there's a hole in the wall. There's like a, a Yasoki-sized hole in the wall. Oh, look at these. Close, do you like the gun more than me? What? That is a, that's a terrible question. That is, that is a stupid question, Elise. No, no, of course I love this gun more than you. Of course, <laughs> look at it. Did you just see the wall? Look at this, this is amazing, this gun. All right. And the data pad is actually a current model. In addition to that, those things of value, there are actually several recently deceased corpse fleet soldiers. You can tell the are the the, the still some clothing that hasn't been dissolved by the use in there. And the one data pad that is new, new meaning not twenty years old. Hmm. The battery is still charged, oh, so all uh, trigger has to do is hack into it. I'm going to assume you want to roll for that, or...? That would be the case. Alright. Uh, I'll assist. Okay. Oh, I will assist. That is successful. Plus two from ILEC. And, uh, plus two from Trigger. I mean, from Ghost. Nala? Nala! <laughs> He's not sleeping already, is he? No. Come on. We got... What's up? Just roll and get above a 10. 
Hey guys, the two together. I rolled a six. What is it? Is no. this? Is? I said Who ten. All right, so fourteen plus four is eighteen plus. Computer. I'm assuming this is computers. Eight, twelve, fourteen, twenty-four, twenty-six, thirty. Okay, so the DC of 15 was easily surpassed. Mm. Uh, accessing the data pad, you are able to confirm you are in direct competition with the corpse fleet to recover the 12 power cells needed for this WD generator. For the information on the pad, they appear to be ahead of you since they have detected another power cell at Diamalco. The tablet shows another team scheduled to arrive there shortly. Oh, <gasps> we should go there. I know where we're going next. But there was also five credit sticks, credit sticks with a total of 6,134 credits. Why such a random number? If you just said 6,000, we could have divided it so much easier. Yeah, can we just divide that so we know what to write down? Bob, you write... I have to tell me what I have. Tell me one more time, guys. What do you want me to write down? I have to divide that by six. Josh, it was six. No, it doesn't divide evenly. I thought we divided by seven. You said 6,134 credits? Yeah. Yeah, that's 1,022.3 credits for each of us. Wait, are we dividing by seven, though? Because we had a, a common pool. I think we had agreed to do... Yeah, we had agreed by seven. Yeah, okay, well to... then, it's 876.285714 so credits. 876 credits for each, for each person. And 876 credits. Plus the pool. Yes. So who's keeping track of the pool? Bob, are you keeping track of that? Yeah, I am. Okay. All right. And that is, is that including like the cred sticks we found on various dead people? Jo did you no. sum that up for us? No, that was just what we just found right now. Correct. Okay. Yeah, so at some point we need to go through the rest of those other creds. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll crunch that and let you guys know. All right. Uh, I guess what would be a check for, or actually you can look it up on your ship, what Diamalco is, and, and if there are actual Culture. coordinates to get to this, to, to there, and once you get there on the planet, to find them. It's a planet to be. Yes. So, uh, what's the plan? Let's get out of here. If you have what you came for. Yes. See, we have it, and there's one piece now that I can keep track of. You see, they're together. It's apart. Two pieces, but then we go. Wait, so you have to put the brain pieces together and you get all four pieces. Together. Impressive. Two pieces, and the universe didn't explode. So that's good. You get a shot. What? It's not the universe. It's just Three one solar. I, Elise, stop playing with your super powered component to the stellar degenerator. Don't play with your food. I know, I, I didn't eat it. It was just a joke, ghost. You are eating things. Someone needs to tell you, do not eat components of the super stellar degenerator. Eat? I was mocking the idiot humans. Huh. Uh, haven't you ever seen that thing they do when they get the gold medal and they're like, oh, let me put it in my mouth, make sure it's real gold. I was like, oh, let me put this in my mouth, make sure it's a real gold piece of the universe explorer thing what are you talking about humans do not exist they are like they are aliens they do not exist they are fiction this? yes they do not exist when i talk to to other people this is what parents what? tell their little yosoki babies if you are not good, then the humans will come down and beam you up and take you away, and then they will put probes in your butt. This is what they tell the little ones. And it is not true. Humans do not exist. It is all just a fabrication. You only see it in the videos. It does not exist. Human employees in our bar. No, no, you do not. Have yes, employees. we do. No, no, they watch enough movies. They disguise themselves. They make themselves look like the human you see in the video, but they are not human. They're like Leshunta, who got rid of their antenna. Humans do not exist. We can't work with that! 
They are fictional. They are like unicorn or dragon. There are not humans that exist in the world. Actually, unicorns and dragons are real. Unicorns are real? No, they are All not. Right. No, no, they are not. All right, are you guys sticking around to explore the uh, complex any further? Or are no. you getting out? Well, we're going to sleep, and then Ghost is going to propose we go back and explore the stuff we didn't, because there might be more treasure down there. Yeah. We got what we came for, and the corpse fleet is already headed towards the next artifact piece. We need to get more. Yes, but we need money to buy more equipment, and if you do not have the equipment, when you fight the final battle, you will think, ooh, I will kill you with my azimuth laser pistol. And you will be like poor Nala over there, who cannot hurt a thing. So I say we must finish looking and looting this place, and then go. He's coming. Not to let's, loot all we, let's loot all we can on the way back to the ship. That is working for me. Fantastic. All right. Oh, we've already... Figure takes you a relatively... Um, circuitous route back to the ship to appease ghosts, but you guys... Everybody in your perception check? Get those actuals. 27. Five. Fifteen. Uh, 25. You guys don't find much of, of, of any value. You find some old computer parts, a couple more dead bodies from the corpse fleet that was that arrived just prior to you arriving. You find uh, another 200 credits on those bodies. Do and the computer parts appear to be salvageable? No, they're from, the, they're from before. Okay. Sivion, do you want to make the dead people talk again? No, that's pretty cool, but no, man. All right. Bless you. Bless you. I was waiting for you to finish. <laughs> All right, you board the Flying Hellfish 3. And? Take a nap. Captain, what do you do? I think it's time to hustle back to our ship. Loot as much as we can. You did that. Take a quick, take a quick rest as we proceed to the next uh, MacGuffin. I'm Alka. Uh, if you guys want, if you have want to look it up on the Infosphere, it is a single planet orbiting a tiny star. Uh, it's covered in ruins. It used to be it used to sustain two advanced civilizations, and then 200 years ago. The prophecies that once lived only in children's rhymes and bedtime stories became a horrifying reality. In the course of the month, the planet's major oceans evaporated, its greenery withered, and earthquakes reverberated across the planet. Is it still called earthquakes? If it's From the rocky gone? terrain of the FECs rose nightmares, colossal monstrosities covered in armor plates and bearing rows of tongues, teeth, and worse. They destroyed the planet's population centers, and very few people are left. So, kind of the serious place it, you want to be. It, it, it orbits another star, so we have interstellar trap. You have to hit, go through the drift. Oh, boy. We should probably radio back to, um, what's his name there? Chizkisk. What's their name there? Chizkisk. Chexmix. Yeah. Chexmix? Chexmix. That's the one. You do that. Uh, you have to leave a message. I mean, really. It is, there's delay, so you have to just leave a message. Really, we live in the future and there's still delay? We haven't figured out how to travel faster than light. Oh, wait, we have. Hmm. Actually, I haven't figured out how to communicate faster than light. That I'm calling BS. <laughs> Seems like you can I'm put calling. signal relays in the drift. I'm calling, you don't want to put on your cheesecake's voice. <laughs> Just like a satellite, it orbits the Earth. You could probably put s communication satellites in the drift to achieve faster than light communications. Strikes me. And I bet you AT and T would have been there for that for Verizon. All right, so. So AT and T would have been there first. It would have been crappy, and then Verizon would have showed up. Travels near space, three d six days. Mm. Oh. There are risks involved, right? There's you can have encounters in the drift, like bad Not things can happen. Not right now, you can't. Oh, okay. Good. 
You're, you're, you're still you're still relatively close to the path worlds. So uh, by, the by the way, another consideration: whenever we travel in the drift uh, and use the drift engine, we cause a tiny piece of reality to disappear and to be transported into the drift. So every That's time we do this, sort of yeah, right. So do we feel guilt? that we are gonna activate our drift engine and it could be a child playing with their mother and the child gets sucked away into the drift. Or it could just be like the child's hand get is part that gets sucked away and the child loses a hand. So uh, I sure you wish were, I'm not the pilot who has to push the button that caused that to happen. You were talking about less than a grain of sand on the beach when you think about the size of the universe. But anyway. That's terrible. That drift rock was pretty bigger, than, a lot bigger than a grain of sand. We all started off as single cell organisms. Ghost. Yes, Why yes. do we care about little children of other races? Oh, I do not care. I just thought it was kind of funny. I'm going to push whatever buttons I have to. All right. Um, it's a 3D six day journey. Anybody who has computers or engineering is welcome to make a check to try to make knock a day off of it to a minimum of three days. So Mike, you're the pilot, you roll the 3d6, and then everybody else can make their check who wants to try to help make a plot a better course. Uh, you guys are screwed, I'm rolling 3d6, so. <laughs> uh, engineering check of a 24. Engineering computer? Yeah. Do I spend more time in the drift? Yes. You're gonna lose the part. Actually, you guys got really lucky. I rolled pretty shitty. What did you roll? Eight. All right. So, Ghost helps with some computations, brings it down to seven. I Any other helpers? I help. What'd you get? Thirteen. Thirteen. I Elise he helps. Brings it down to six days travel. Nala is the only other person with computer skills, but I have I have a one, but that's it. Oh, you, so have, you have training in computers? Maybe, I think. I, well, I'm looking at one character sheet. Let me look at the other one. Okay. Thumbs up. Jeff's maybe there. Uh, Sherry's playing now. <laughs> Hi, Sherry. No, I do not. Here, fuck you. The Sher do you think Sherry realizes that she is on camera mode right now? Or do you think she's like checking the internet and has no idea that she's being watched? I don't know. At least it's a good place to Do you think it feels like anybody's watching her? Let's turn it right. Somebody feels like somebody's watching me. She's pretty uh, technically savvy, right? She's the technically savvy one in the family, so you should notice the light on the webcam going on. What? Mommy said it's beautiful. I can look in the windows. All right. Uh, so you make it there in six days. I will wait for Adam, Jules, and Jeff to return. I actually think Adam's lying on the ground. I said Adam. All right, I'm here. Uh, Ghost disappears uh, for several days. You don't see him, and then you see him coming out of the the hollow suite about three or four days in. You're missing quality time with your new best friend. What are you talking about? Quality time. We had quality time in the middle of an asteroid killing sludge creatures. Sherry just left. <laughs> yeah, but we didn't have fun. We I didn't had... have heart the heart conversation. What are you talking about? We had fun. <laughs> Remember when we killed Tahoe Man? Remember when we killed the acid slime creature? Tahoe <laughs> Man. Remember when we killed the experimental sludge creature? I don't want to think about that. That was great fun. I had so much fun. It was great fun. But, but you have to teach me, Ghost. I am teaching you how to have fun. Well, how are you supposed to do that if you're always in the hollow suite? It, look. What are you doing in there all the time, Ghost? What am I doing in the hollow suite? I, yeah, I, I am not telling you what I am doing in there. That is my business. That is not your business. Tell what you're doing in the hollow suite. Or do, we not can't ask me, do not ask me what I am doing in there. That is private, personal, your sulky things. You, you would not understand. You know, Ghost, I can just read your mind. You cannot <laughs> read my mind. 
I, I can't am, truly do mine. I am thinking about killing. I am thinking about other things. You cannot I'm read my mind. I'm right now. I'm reading your mind. Go ahead. Try to I read my mind. mind. I'm reading his mind. Okay, roll. There's you gotta roll the dice. Mind, I'm trying to tell our GM he's too busy talking to the dog. I heard you. <laughs> you gotta roll to see if you can read my mind. Yeah, I'm trying to read his mind. Alright. All right, trying cool. to, you know, waste my spells. You got time. You got five days. It's you, a cantrip, anyway. You all, oh, you level up. You heal up. Woo! Woo! Okay, here we go. Detect thoughts. Where is my information on that? Oh, it's not honest. It's in no weird place. Hold on a second. Hey, mate, come here. I swear, Sherry hung up on us. He did. Chris keeps disconnecting too. Chris, you still on this one? Okay, so it's a will save. Um, so you need to tell me what the will save value is that I have to beat. Yes, you have to... Beat... Hold on, it's in a different tab. Have we leveled up yet? You leveled up. Okay, hold on, let me open this. Everybody gets their plus to their ability scores. That should that could affect the, the will save. It could affect the DC. Yeah, so that affects my will save, so you gotta give me a second. Yeah. I'll roll a natural one. I rolled a natural <laughs> one. So, nope. it, it'd be good what for you to know for the future, but I failed my will save. Okay, yeah, you have to, the DC is 15. Okay. So, uh, um... Ghost holds his hands to his head. I am not letting you into my mind. Get out of my mind. You cannot believe my thoughts. My mind it is an iron fortress. And nevertheless, you easily <laughs> pierce Ghost's thoughts. And... You can send to her privately if you don't want everybody to know. You can whisper to her in all 20. No, no, it's fine. Uh, I trust everybody else to not know it are, in character. Are, are you are you thinking of, of your time as a boy on the camp of Wakanda? On the lake? <laughs> Uh, Ayelisi, what you see is a fuzzy, cute, absolutely adorable bunny rabbit with big brown eyes in the forest. It goes safe, right? Is it? And then what happens? That's all you could read. And then he kills it! <laughs> little bunny! Why are you so scared of me seeing a little bunny? What are you talking about, bunny? You do not know how to read minds. That is... that is ridiculous. I have to go to my room. Excuse me. Ghost looks freaked out. Hey, me. Why don't you want to talk about the fact that you spend days just looking at a little bunny? There is no bunny. I am going to my room now. I do not want to talk to you. Goodbye. Oh, just gonna go hide in his room because he just was. <laughs> He's just gonna go think about his little bunny. <laughs> go, go sees a goblin passing in the hallway who says, "Hey!" and he kicks him as he passes by. Ah! <laughs> and then he slams the door. <laughs> Shoot! I didn't kick you. Be nice, the goblin. They did nothing to you. The ghost is in his room. You can't see him anymore. You ready to die? All right. Uh, what, do people, like, what do people do to level up? What uh, cool powers do you have? Everybody has these ability bonuses. We're not going to go into that. Just whatever cool power you got. Bob, you go first. Uh, I got a feat. I haven't decided on the feat yet. But the cool power, uh, when you become a operative at level 5, uh, your ghost specialization kicks in a little bit. So now, if he tries to stand still, he can he can hide in the middle of plain sight. He's got, like, I imagine Alien vs. Predator. The Predator camo kind of makes him see-through. He gets a plus 10 to stealth rolls, and he can hide in plain sight if he spends a move action to hide. Sorry. Cool. Mikey, I mean, did you get there, Mikey, or no? I did not get there, no. All right. Adam? Just 
for start. Okay, yeah. Um, uh, I got a combat feat. I took cleave, and I also got um, my class ability for is uh, uh, as a reaction. You if somebody's got, a, there. Oh, as a reaction, if somebody is adjacent to me, I can take half the damage of an attack that's made against them. And I'm also proficient with powered armor. Oh, powered armor. Yeah, Whoa. I totally forgot. So I Hello? Look up. Can anybody hear us? Yes. Yeah. Oh, guys, what the, we did, it happened again. We lost everybody again. We lost time. I'm back. Can you hear me? Yeah, Jeff, we can hear you. We hear you, Jeff. Is that you, Josh and Jules? Okay, there we yeah. go. That was a lot faster. That happened last time too. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna say it's you. Maybe. Yep. So well. you got cleave and then. Um, I uh, if somebody's adjacent to me and takes damage from an attack, I can use a reaction to take half that damage. It and proficiency with powered armor. Ooh. Wow. So I'm gonna put something on my wish list soon. What does powered armor do for you? Uh, a lot more. It, it's it's like it's like the suit uh, that um, the Martian chick wears in uh, expanse. in the Expanse. Bobby Draper, got it. Yes, that, that's fantastic. It's Exo Squad. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> that was a great cartoon. That was a great cartoon. Hi, everybody. All right, um, Jeff is back. Jeff, are you Jeffy. talking? Can you hear us? Can't hear Jeff. I have a big exclamation point over Jeff. Yeah, me too. Anybody else? No. I don't know about the exclamation point, but he's not saying anything that I can hear. It looks like danger. All right. Uh, Jules, what'd you get? Um, so I got a level two spell called Invisibility, Ooh. which sounds pretty self-explanatory. So the target is invisible for one minute per spell, for, um, per, per caster level, or until, or, no, no, it's just per one minute. For one minute, or until it attacks, which I thought would be helpful for my inject nanobots spell, so I could be invisible. Oh, nice and then, idea. Um, I got another magic hack which gives me more damage to my spells. Um, so this is where we had a bit of a question when I was doing this earlier, Bob. Um, when we round for like, when you say plus your plus half your level, do you round up or down? Unfortunately, you round down. She wanted me to be wrong. Yeah, I wish it was uh, up. Well, okay. Well, I got this magic hack that allows for instantaneous spells that deal damage to increase their damage by half your Technomancer level, which is nice. Yeah. Um, so my missile gets plus two and a couple of the others that I don't use as often. For each missile? So is that no. plus no, six? For one oh. missile. It okay. actually specifically says for one. spells that target multiple creatures with multiple rays or other attacks, like magic missile. <laughs> then it says, nice try, Only Bob. Five, one <laughs> missile. <laughs> nice try. Don't abuse it. It's like, yeah, don't. Don't, don't do that. Okay. What you're thinking, hey, don't you, do that. When you're level 20, that's like an extra plus 10, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, Chris, you there? All right. Jeff, can you hear us yet? Ooh, Roll20 is having some problems, huh? Well, it should be Discord for Jack. It shows that Chris is speaking in Discord and we can't hear him. And Jeff's got an exclamation point suggesting that his connection is so slow that he's having bandwidth issues. Yeah, I now he's having now. I just reset him. Got nothing. But we don't even hear him in Discord. They're both in Discord. We don't see or hear him. No, we don't hear Chris at all. And you're I right. see Chris lighting up. Agree. But we I can't agree. hear anything you're saying, Chris. 
Try disconnecting and reconnecting, maybe. It's like the opposite of uh, Josh. Josh's problem. Hmm. It's always like this time too. It was right around this time last. I week. think this is when other people will join. Yeah, because California, this is like you're you're finally done with dinner. What is it? Six o'clock in California, so people are starting their game nights. And can you force restart on roll 20 for Chris? Reset player. That is all I can do. Yeah, can you do that for Chris? We can see if his video comes back. Yeah, I did it for... Like, it's weird that we can see Jeff, because rarely I can, ever, I can yeah, never see moving. somebody. Yeah. Those oh, and he's moving, too. I thought it was, he was actually holding still. Interesting. Yeah, I lost video on everybody in roll 20, except for Jeff with the exclamation point. Still I'm not nothing, Chris. So I think sure. Roll20 Roll is having some bandwidth issues for sure. I can yeah, watch but, myself eat a pretzel with a yeah, hat on my head. But we should, we should still hear it on Discord, Bob. That's the thing. Yeah, that's a fair point. I'm back. I can hear you guys now. That hey, help? Jeff. Hey. Uh, no, we just need Chris. Um, that was weird. Chris appeared for a second and disappeared. And now we've lost Jules. That was because I reloaded. Ah, okay. I want to see all your pretty faces. Jeff, did you level up or no? Reading his lips, he said, yeah. That's what I was too. You want to tell us anything special you got? If I can fucking find my character, yes. Oh. Give me <laughs> a couple minutes. <laughs> Uh, where was it? Uh, I think I put it in the text last time. It's it's right. It's, Bob, if you can see it right now, you'd want to rip your hair out. I I just don't. I'm I'm working on it. Okay. I'll sh hey, I see Chris. I see Chris now. Sorry, I had to put the air conditioning in. It's wicked hot upstairs. <laughs> we just opened all the windows. Amy said it was gorgeous outside when she took puppy out. Ah, oh, forget it. Oof! It's up in the <laughs> attic. It's a. It's like that bonus room above the garage. Oh yeah. Um, I'm assuming you did not get a chance to level up. I did. I leveled up on my other character sheet. Okay, what, what do you level up now? So what cool thing did you get? Um, so, so I just want to verify. So, um, spells. I, I think if I can verify, I have six. I should have six, six, and three. Six, zero, six, ones, and three, twos based on that jump up of my level. And also, was there a, was there a um, ability increase as well? Yes. <laughs> oh, Chris, you're okay. going to love leveling up at level 5. At level okay. 5, guess yeah. how many abilities you get to increase? 7. 5. I have 4. Oh, 5. Yeah, 4, I did. I did all 4 of those. I did 7, up. Uh, increase 7 of my abilities, or my skills. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I, my AC and EAC went up. Let's see. I also, if I could verify my my spells, I think my spells went up too. My level two spells went up I'm to level to second. level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To level. So I have three level two, I believe, because my wisdom went up to a twenty. Okay. No. So here, here's what you have. All you right. Have Tell per, you have four first and two second. Yeah, but that's but I have bonuses on that based on wisdom. Okay, hold on a second. I'll get there. That's that's Jeff. Jeff, I'm gonna mute you because you're coming through like you're just static. Um, you should know six zero six zero four first and three second. You should know those. And what's your your your, your wisdom? Twenty. So you should have an extra two first, first. level and one second level. So that's a six, six, and a four. Which is weird. I don't think Jules gets that benefit as a technomancer. No. Uh, what's your age, Jules? Eighteen. Ah, uh, yeah. If you were twenty, you would get two and one instead of one and one. That's why I went up on the wisdom. I had nineteen. I went up on it. So I've, I, I can cast six zero six five first and four second. Wow. And I, I have two second level spells, 
and I switched my spells around. So here's where my spells are. All right. So I took the I took the Mystic Cure and the uh, where's the Hurl Force Disc? You guys knew that. I took Remove Lesser Condition, a Mystic Cure, a Mystic Mind Thrust, Disguise, Command, Charm, Person. A day's fatigue, go sound, grave works, and psychokinetic hand. Mm. Plus, my stats went up nuts, which is which is great. My dex is at eighteen, cons at eighteen. My stamina points are fifty. So, that's pretty bulked up. <laughs> Jules is struggling. There's He's getting the numbers mixed up. So, you all right. 50 yeah. stamina? You're a beast. Oh, I just want to buy a... Yeah, because my I took constitution, wisdom, a whole bunch. Wow. Yeah, I forgot about stat bonuses. Oh, my God. Well, I'm only increasing my dex con and int. <laughs> I mean, the modifiers for them. Yeah, that, that, strength... that, that even number sucks. My strength's still a nine. <laughs> Well, if you have a if you have a sixteen or less, they go up plus two. Yeah, that's nice. It's eighteen or less. No, sixteen. I think it's sixteen. Because I have a stat at seventeen, and I debated whether to bump that by one. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to I have to. I don't know. I I gotta see. Uh, is if you bump um, stamina, uh, what we'll call it? Oh my God, slacking sleep's affecting me. If you bump con, does it affect your hit points from level one, and then your stamina points for every level? Yep. yep. It's retro. Yep. It's a oh wow, so it's plus one to hit points because you only get that one, and then plus five more to stamina. Yep. I think I increased intelligence to twenty, so that gets you uh, thirteen points to spend on skills and then retroactively for the previous four levels one skill point for every level as well so that applies for intelligence and skill points too is it oh okay yeah because i did bump that so so you're going to get a ton more to pop into your skills right but i can't i can't dump them into skills i already have you, you, your skills can't be any more than max than than your current level Correct, Correct. Unfortunately. Oh. So I get it. Basically, I get five more. Okay, so I, that means I can do intimidate and survival. Or think about your piloting, your ship combat skills. Yeah, oh, that 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 gets increased all the time, no matter what. Oh, I see. Gotcha. Do I get to tag another skill? Oh, um. <laughs> If they're in your class list, <coughs> then yeah, and then you haven't trained any, then you can add a new skill if it's in your existing class list. So you can get feet to get credit for those as well. There's what? a feat that makes that you turn certain skills into class features so you get the class benefit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to unmute Jeff and see how this goes. Absolutely horribly. Not doing that again. <laughs> Jeff, just typing in rolls. Yeah, all static, Jeff. It's not even words. It's just static. It's like you're an alien trying to communicate with us. Jeff, why don't you give it a quick reboot? We'll wait and see what happens, and then we'll go from there. We can wait five more minutes. Everybody's got to go to the bathroom. Go now. Everybody's got to walk the dog. Walk the dog. Yeah, that, that, that works out great if the dog has to actually go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. If, your wife, if, if my wife can take him out already, I know. <laughs> what do you eat, Bob? Anything good? Okay. <laughs>
So I saw the other day it was somebody's anniversary. All right, I'm going to unmute Jeff again. Stuff. Jeff, you're unmuted. What's up? Hey. Yeah, you sound uh, a lot less painful in my ears. <laughs> I mean, still painful, but normal still painful. Still painful, but not as. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But Sorry. All right, so what did you get for level up, Jeff? I didn't get much. I uh, leveled up my, or I, I bumped up my um, stats that were very poor. I had some ones in the 7, 8 range. Uh, um, uh, uh, greater fortitude, too bad. I think he said greater fortitude, but I'm not sure. He's like he's an expert. Uh, oh, six levels your big get him bonus. Yeah. Was that take it to plus two? No, we can spend a resolve point to get plus to grant the bonus to on attack rolls and damage rolls against all creatures who are within sixty feet. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, and, and, and we can get a proof get up a plus two all the time, and then a proof get up plus that you can burn everything. So very cool. That is where listening to the podcast actually helps you burn the game. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I see Ty guy. Different. All right, we're just about ready. Where Mikey to come back? we will pick up the game. Yeah, so I think I boosted um, Constitution, Intelligence, uh, Strength, which took it from an 8 to a 10. That was exciting. And then I debated <laughs> Dex or Wisdom, and I think I'm going to lean towards Dex. Since that's You're a Dex based character. You have to do back Dex. I know, I know. But it's an even number, so this is the like, moral imperative. This is yeah, the I, one. I, I did my Strength, even though it only went from 20 to 21. Jules, but. Uh, 18 to a 19 or something? Yeah, my int went from an 18 to a 19. Oh, if you can get it up to a 20. Gets brilliant. Yeah. But it's 2, right? 2 after 16? No, it drops down to 1 after 16. Before 16, if your stat is lower than 16, it increases by 2. So just 16 or lower, right? So 16 yeah. goes to 18. Mm -hmm. uh, Let me see, I'm looking it up right now. Yeah, grade sixteen grade? or lower. Sixteen goes to eighteen. Mm. All right, that's a good bump. Yeah, that's a nice one. That's good for just strength. Do not mind yeah. damage. Do we decide who's getting the rings of resistance and the uh, temperature? You. You got, you got the thermal capacitor. That's for certain. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to make. I just wanted to update it. So I have. Yeah, the rings of resistance went to Ielisi and myself. I think. Good. Yeah, we rolled for And don't forget, you got the toughness jackets, the eel skin jackets, which lets you re-roll Fortitude as well. So, huh? Is their base attack go up? Uh, it depends on your class. Mine yeah, mine. mine stayed the same, though. Okay. So, so I have to ask the question. I'm looking at the, the ship layout in the background there, and you got the captain's quarters in the top left. Kind of. And then you have everybody else is in pairs. So clearly Ghost and Trigger will pair up. Yep. That leaves Ozzy, Ialisi, and Sivian. I'm in a gunner position. No, to see the share, the share two rooms. He's talking so about me, of course. Quarters. No, I thought we talked about this before. We have enough room. No, we don't. So you get that ship, you There's don't. another layer. No, there's not. <laughs> no, if you there's scroll, the there are more rooms. What about the loft? <laughs> I sleep. I sleep in the uh, the the Star Wars gunner pull. I make it nice and cozy. Bugman sleeps in the closet with the goblins. Yes. I almost was engineering in a cardboard box. It used to be a refrigerator box, but now it's just <laughs> yeah. Now it's just fun. <laughs> Uh, did you notice, Josh, uh, one of the items on the wish list, uh, and you guys might find this of interest, is uh, a strategy game, the equivalent of Twilight Imperium. 
it takes hours and hours to play, like six to eight hours. <laughs> and if all your crew members play it with you, uh, then when the next time you get into a fight for like the next 24 hours or something like that, uh, when you flank, when you do like strategic stuff, you get extra bonuses. All because your strategy is better from playing the game. Clearly, we're not playing diplomacy. Because otherwise, you'd be like, no, I'm going to flank there, and then you don't flank. <laughs> yes, exactly. All right. Are you ready to move here? Oh, wait, might be a fact, so. What's the name of these things? Thermal capacitor. I looked it up. I can't find it. Flux capacitor. If you look it up in your notes, Jeff, in the uh, handouts, go to the journal, session 15 treasure, all the specs. I'm in, in, I'm in my character building sheet inventory. Okay, it is a thermal capacitor. J Jules, where did you find the jump jets? In that game, in the, uh, in the PC gen? Okay, so you have to, it's kind of complicated. Hotel. So when you buy something, like your armor, um, instead of just clicking on it and hitting add equipment, click add custom. And on in the add custom area, search under the whatever you're going to add. And hit add modifier. Yeah, there it is. So you have to click on an armor first and then add custom. So you want to click on one that you're wearing, not one in the to buy list. Because I think it'll add the upgrade to the item that you want to buy. Well, that's the problem is you actually have to go back and you have to get rid of the armor you already have and then buy it again. You got it, Jeff? Yeah. Look at Jeff getting all techie. Well, we, from, like, I heard they made summer school remote as well this, for the summer. Huh. And, you know, the, the problem is probably half of those kids are the ones who are struggling using the computer. Yeah. Or help. You had trouble connecting remotely, getting your classes done, so what are they going to do? Make you connect remotely to get your classes done. That's challenging. Although my understanding is they only hold it back for maturity reasons now. Hmm. It's, uh, summer school is completely different than if you if you skip class and lost credit, you are prohibited from taking summer school to make that up. What do you do? Just stay back? Yep. You don't get any credit for it. Wow. I thought it was a kinder, gentler uh, organization, but that you would think my that no, you got to work to get into summer school. Like there has to be extenuating circumstances. Wow. I think it ends up being expensive to run. <laughs> so it can't be it can't be more expensive than teaching you a whole another year of high school, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's still a cost saving measure for the town, I presume. Yep. Yeah. Although what's the incremental cost of one kid mm. in in the reg in the regular school year? Probably not a lot. Mm. The incremental it, cost during summer school is quite a bit more. It's about fifteen grand a kid per year. Oh really? That is an interesting stat to know. Yeah. Does it change from high school to grade school? Uh, that is the total budget divided by students. Oh, okay. Huh. So you have kids who are paraplegic, who have two aids that cost the school system $300,000 a year to educate. Wow. You got the regular ed kid who goes through, he might be ten or 12000 So when you add everything up and divide, you get... Anywhere between, like, uh, Shelton, Derby, or uh, Shelton and Trumbull are near the bottom for the uh, cost per pupil across the state. Um, there's places like Kent, where it's, like, probably double what, they, what uh, we pay to educate our kids. They, they uh, do double wow. that much. But, but you think of it this way, though. Like, what does it cost to teach... Like, the cost to teach one student is a lot. But what's the cost to teach a second student once you're already teaching that first student? Right. Not much at all. <laughs> so, Jeff, 
Do you got any guest stories? Did she ever act together? Is she completely nocturnal now? Uh, very nocturnal. Um, any uh, uh, There's a good chance she's going to graduate. Oh, hey. <laughs> is that a good thing or a bad thing? Her English grade is borderline, which you need to graduate. Uh, she was born speaking English, right? <laughs> born into an English speaking household? You got to hand in assignments to get grades up. So. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I've heard about that. <laughs> you know what really hurts an average? A zero? A zero. <laughs> mm, yeah. Yep, I'm familiar with that. That is a killer. Yeah. And we've been told to be so lenient on the kids. Like, if they hand in something late, just accept it. Huh. Yeah, Shetland has a district-wide accept all late work with no penalty policy. That's and so you know what works really well is you give a kid a assignment and say, uh, in two days, finish these practice problems, take a picture of it, and send it to me. And after two days, I'm missing about eight of them, so I post the key. <laughs> yeah. And then those kids automatically miraculously figure it out and hand it in. Incredible. Mm. So they get the same credit as the kids who struggle. Can't you uh, give them like 20% less or something like that to uh, account we're not for that? We're, we don't want to stress these kids out. Oh. This is... Uh, oh, I see. Yeah, this is... I don't know. Very interesting. Interesting situations to be in. It's literally how I feel like we're just treading water until the end of the school year. That's it. Hmm. That's and exactly passing the kids on as though they learned a whole year's worth of work. Yep. It, this is the year that proves that the American education system doesn't actually care about educating. Hmm. If they yeah. didn't, what if they didn't care, care, nobody would go back. back. What happened to all this uh, testing and stuff that needs to get done? All of a sudden, hey, it's not that important. Aren't all the standardized tests done in the beginning of the year? Um, the, or, uh, like you're on April now. Oh, okay. There were a bunch of standardized tests for juniors that I got out of doing. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah, really? How'd you get out of them? COVID. Oh, got it. It wasn't unique to her. It was everyone. So they just passed on standardized tests for everybody this year. Yep, those super important standardized, te standardized tests that the curriculum are designed for now. Yeah. The curriculum is not designed for standardized tests. That's standardized tests, you need to define which standardized tests the curriculum are, defined for, are, are designed for because none of them are testing the same material. Hmm. You say, okay, we have three different standardized science tests, but none of them are testing you on the same stuff. Um... Good luck. What standardized tests were you supposed to take? There was one that I, I was supposed to take a science test. But wait, what's it called? Like the science test? The NGSS. I've never heard of this. Are you back yet? I don't know. I don't have, I don't have video for anyone. Refresh your, your role point. Mike must tell you not to log on forever. What's the chest that would be? Got it. Hope he's not like in a ditch somewhere. Well, what if his yeah, dog right? comes back, but Mikey doesn't? What if Mikey's dog like comes back up to the computer screen, and we're like, "What is it? What is it, girl? Where's Mike? Did he fall down a well? Oh my gosh!" Thank you, Lassie. <laughs> and that, that would be amazing, because how would the dog? The dog would have to have grown bums to do get back in the house. Would... <laughs> there, there he is. There he is. We we're about to send a search party. We got worried, Mike. Ah, uh, you said walk the dog, so. Yep. <laughs> I, I love seeing how bright the sunlight is on, on his face right now. I know, here, right? Here it's been dark for <laughs> It doesn't guys, it doesn't get dark here till like nine thirty at night. <laughs> That's fifteen minutes ago. It's nine <laughs> yeah, you can get the drift. We ready? Yeah, sure. 
All right. Exiting the drift, you see the ruined planet of Daimalka. The flying hellfish three is able to detect approximately where on the planet the power cell is. As you close in on the location, sensors detect another vessel taking off from near a ruined temple. Oh, are we never going to land on the planet? Captain, I think there is a there is another vessel that just took off. It seems as though we got here too late. Let, let us scan the uh, new vehicle. I believe the proper term is Wessel. <laughs> wessel. Is it the nuclear Wessel? It's the nuclear Wessel. Yeah. Uh, can I scan this? You can Does scan it. Can you can scan, scan, scan a vessel. Scan it. I scan it. Oh, what is your scan check? I rolled a seven. Plus. What do I add to the computers? Yes. I feel like we just spoke about this. I was thinking out loud. Plus two. I'm getting. I added more to my computers. Figure that out later. Seven I'm gonna be plus computer. Eight. I'm gonna be pretty two useless. Two yeah, that's Except shooting, maybe. No, are you telling me to use one of the, your bonuses? Yeah. All right. I get one of the bonuses a uh, each round, right? You get four bonus. There's four bonuses to give out, so. Is that was that per encounter? Per round. That's uh, per just, round? To, just to clarify, you can give bonuses with your charisma as a captain, but our, we have a special computer that allows you to do four bonuses per set, uh, per round of combat. So he, the, the plus, it's four plus ones, and we're proposing the captain control who gets the computer bonuses, and the captain also control the all the other bonuses that you give. Are those stackable? Yes. Yes. What did Jules roll? How bad? You just said a seven? Eighteen. She rolled a seven. Bonuses. She rolled a seven but creep crept it up to an eighteen. We'll give her a plus two. Wait. All right, well, well, I just changed my mods, so now it's a nineteen. You can, give right. a, you can give a plus one using one of the four computer bonuses, but you can't use all four on one person. But when she changed her bonus, she moved to a nineteen. Jeff gives her a plus one, so it gives her a 20. There you go. I, I, I've never heard of a 19 check or a 21 check, but a <laughs> DC 20 check is common. Uh, all right. So, um, you scan I was looking at the wrong sheet. Scanners tell you it is a Blackwind Sepulchre, which is a corpse fleet ship. Corpse fleet there. again. It you has know. five expansion bays. Where is it? it has sure. five expansion bays, so it could be anything could be in those bays, whether it be Ooh. troops. Or equipment or worse. Oh, so many zombies. Your um, scanning device implies that the stellar degenerator power cell is on that ship. Great. Fan freaking tastic. We really have to get all of these. Need I'm them sure all. this is an operational, just a two. Captain, what's, if you are what's, looking for what's more options. important is they don't have them, Jules. What? What's more important is they don't have them. Captain, you... I propose we stop them. They've got the big bomb thing. Uh, a quick scan of the surface shows that the ruined temple has been uh, taken, a, basically taken apart. Explosions. They, they they just ripped it apart, getting to where they wanted to get to. They didn't play any games with it. Oh, nice, guys. And we go walking through a maze. <laughs> Let's uh, target them. Yes, they have what we want. They've about. already shown to be uh, uh, aggressive towards us. Maybe not this particular ship, but the Eoxians in general. That's racist. Let's take what's ours. Corpse fleet. We're at war with that. Uh, Captain, do you, do you want to, like, just see if we can hail him and say, Hey, uh, you have a piece of puzzle that we need first? They're not going to do that. Have we been noticed, I assume? Have we been scanned? Uh, give, me a, uh, so give me a computer check for that. That's our science officer. I'm going to be useless on this, aren't I? Hey, that's me. Nope. I'm the science officer. your role. No we, computer, no, no engineering. We have more guns than people, though, so Piloting? we're going to need you to fire stuff and blow things up. You're all. Well, 
Twelve. You, Twelve plus my bonus. Do I have to have my bonus or? You no, know, you think you think you've been scammed. I've uh, been scammed. You rolled a twenty, so you do get some information on that ship. Do you want their offensive or defensive capabilities? Offensive. They have a forward. They have a heavy EMP cannon and a light laser cannon. Aft, they have a gyro laser. And they have a light torpedo launcher times two. For, they have two light torpedo launcher, light torpedo launcher turrets. Really? Yeah. They're, they're not the CCs you've been fighting. So do we want to approach them from port or, uh, or starboard or, or in, where there's less of a uh, focus? Do you want to approach them from... Raise your shields. Um, your shields are up. Oh, good. Uh, yes, that's my stomach. We're aware it exists. Please stop it. All right, so I'm assuming you guys are going to gaze in the combat so they don't escape. Trigger, take us in. How do I do that? I don't, I don't know. Okay. Oh, okay. Combat phase is engineering. Phase one is engineering phase. Captain and engineer. Um... And oh. They are slower than you. Yeah. They are slower than you. Good. So, uh, the we engine. Is what, if, if you want somebody to make an engineering check, and I don't know that anybody is qualified to do that, you can divert power to systems. Oh, I've done that. Uh, you can increase the speed, you can increase the effectiveness of the weapons, you can increase the effectiveness of the shield. So, uh, I am the engineer, acting engineer. Trigger is the better engineer, and if I and I have these options, right? I can increase your speed, I can give, I can increase power to weapons to turn your one damage to two, or I can restore shields, which is not useful right now. Uh, most of the engineering stuff not so useful, and it seems like maybe we're faster. So I might propose for this round only, I take no engineering actions and instead flip controls over to one of the guns, so that if we are in range, I can assist with firing one of the guns. Good. All right, I will help fire the guns, Captain. All right. So, um, all right, so that is engineering. Captain, do you have anything else to say? Do you want to call and intimidate them? If you succeed in your intimidate check, they've taken minus two to all their checks. Oh, uh, sure. Uh, raise them on the helm. On the helm? Raise them. Raise them on, uh... I see. Put them up on the list. Huh? Call. Oh. Beep, beep, boop, 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 beep, boop, 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 what do, you, what do you call those? A wrong number? New phone. Who did? New starship. Yeah. Who did? Or no, like hello, <laughs> hello. Yeah. Hi. Can I talk to Can I talk to James? They uh. Because you know what? That would be a really bad way to start a movie. I think. <laughs> Captain answers. What do you uh, want? Corpse fleet, stand down, and hand us the artifact. At chance. <laughs> We just we we have just spent our time recovering, and it's unlikely we'll be giving it to you. Well, the next thing you'll be doing is spending your time uh, staying dead, but floating through space. Yes, well said, Captain. Yes, you tell him. Is that your intimidate check? Yeah. All right. So, give me your uh, what's your intimidate bonus? All right, hang on a sec. I gotta look. Mm -hmm. Wow, what is my DC? It's 10. You know? Your DC for what? Oh, it's Saving it to the today check. And I rolled a natural 19, so that's 29. This is a good I, I, I think that I'm going to fail this regardless. <laughs> I think you're going to be in simulated. Uh, the DC <laughs> of the check is equal to either 10 plus your opponent's total Intimidate skill bonus, or 15 
times 1.5 uh, plus 1.5 times the opponent's CR, whichever is greater. So since you're oh, a player, it's going to be your Intimidate skill bonus plus 10. So Jeff's in in Intimidate skill bonus plus 10 is what my save would be? That's what your save needs to meet or exceed, exactly. Well, I get a... I or we could just say whoever rolls better. I mean, you know, with the bonuses. Yeah, I, I got, I'm got. i not even close to my 8, so... So all of my rolls are at minus 2 going forward for this turn. Ooh, Ooh nice one. Well all done, right. Captain. Uh, science Officer, it is probably your best to scan now before Helm makes their move so you can determine their maneuverability and speed. Scan. Yeah. Roll. Roll the dice. I uh, with 9, plus computer is 19, plus 2 is 21. Alright, so you're, you successfully determined that they have a maneuverability of 2. 2. Which is not nearly as good, which is not as good as you. It takes them 2, yeah. two, two spaces to turn. Um, but and they only have a speed of eight. Ooh, so you sucker. do have them. You, you do have them on the speed thing. We have the out speed and our speed lead. is ten. Our speed is ten. But captain, most importantly, our tactical nuclear missile torpedo speed is twelve. <laughs> 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 All right, pilot. My yeah, yeah, the rock. It's too fire. Always piloting. Check for me now to see who goes first. Minus plus eleven. So 21. Mikey, you need to make a piloting check, right? Yes. I need to beat my 21. No problem. <laughs> Mike did that with just a die. Beat <laughs> 20. But beat my 21. Adam, stop giving away my secrets. <laughs> Uh, 30. <laughs> All right, I wanna, I'm gonna change the scale on the map so each hex represents 10. That seems to be, uh, oh, you're not on the We're right map. We're still looking at the pyramid. Sorry, guys. Did you actually get the hexes to line up? No, I just... so there's him and you, guys. Uh, I'm going to change the pixel equals 10 feet. Square ship on a hex grid. Yeah. Yep. All right, close it off. So he is going to uh, close. He's going to go from here to... Actually, why am I making this hard? I should make every square one. Shouldn't I, Bob? Not a bad yes. idea. Yeah. All right, so I can move eight. He's going to come around to here and turn during that to line up his shot. Remember that uh, whatever you're turning is costs part of your movement points. So right. If I'm moving, more moving there, and I'm lining up my shot on you. So you can I ask you a question? Mm. Yes. What, what was the point of me rolling a piloting skill and beating you? Because that's... now you can... He, okay, so he's moved. Now we can move to get in a better position. And there's nothing you, you can do. Because uh, you, you know that he only has... Um, Eight speed and two maneuverability. Right. And he only has, he has two turrets, but he also has forward and aft weaponry. So you you can so you can pilot to a port or starboard location and fire at him where he has no weapon right, less weapon to respond with. Yeah. So if we go to like if we go to like for example, say like this hex here, and we're turning, we can face him with the with the front gun. So we can could potentially fire the front gun, the um, and the two turrets. And he can only attack us with his turrets. Yep. But you you might actually, Adam, be better with your it's showing bad. your aft because you have your flak thing to to deter his two um, torpedo launchers that are turrets as well. That's true too. So that is up to your pilot to determine and your captain. 
can the flat cannon actually like fire uh, like it take out missiles how does do we not know how that works I'll uh, look it up but I think it can Which one does more damage, the gyro laser or the flat? No. That's what we're looking at, right? The flat thrower does more damage. 3d8. 44 versus 1d8. Oh, 3d8 for the flat can. Yeah, 1d8 versus 3d8. 3d8 is more. Yes, it is. That's the flat. That's the aft flat cannon. Sorry, 3d4. No, three out of the aft flat cannon is 3d4. It's 3d4. Oh, I wrote that down wrong then. A 3d4 is still more than 1d8. Still more than 1d8. That's why I'm the captain. The gyro laser is 1d8. There's a forward can, which is forward. Aft is the flat thrower, 3d4. And you have the turret. It's the tactical nuclear missile launcher, 5d8. And the coil gun, 4d4. All right, who do we have on the um, turrets? On the Ozzy, right? Uh, yeah, uh, he's always Ozzy is always firing. Sivian, I think, is going to fire, and in this particular round, Bob is also firing. So we could easily um, fire three weapons. I'll take Flack if you guys want to man turrets, because I'm going to. No, 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 Bob. No, Bob, you no. are not taking the Flack cannon. They're trying to get away. Is that based You're, on piloting? Yeah, uh, piloting or base attack bonus. But Bob, you know what you want. Oh. The tactical nuclear missile. <laughs> oh, go for it, man. You get to fire the tactical nuke. It's right no, Ozzy, you will well, do this for me? Of course. You see, Wait, one, Mike's, got a, Mike's still got to position us to see what we're... We can definitely use that. Mike's got to position us to see what other guns there are. A single tear if, goes down uh, Ghost's cheek. This are we disabling it? We're thing. blowing it up and then retrieving the piece. Yes. Okay. And you like, are we facing the front, ship. or the way the game is designed, you, you don't destroy the ship; you just disable them. Okay. <laughs> so it's non-lethal damage. So you'll have to board the ship. Ugh. And Mike, are we facing towards them or away from them? Because I don't know what the front of the ship is. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. So good point. So the front of the ship is facing away from them because we want to use the aft and we want to use the two turrets. Okay. Cool. So we have a ship that we want to run away from people to kill them. <laughs> if they've got missiles. No. All right. So you you assume the position. You you take your position. Your your assume the position. Your your aft is facing them. Uh huh. All right. So uh, the science officers are already acted. So it is the gunnery face. So captain, you can have three pluses still to hand out, and it's the gunners. So you can inspire each one with a plus one. Actually, it's not inspire. No, you give each of them a plus one, and then you can try to inspire one person to give them an additional. I think it's plus two. Inspire, Bob. Uh, ghost. Yes, Captain. This is your chance. Show us what you can do with those weapons. Oh, I thought you would never ask. Locking onto the target. Target acquired. Captain, permission to fire. Granted. <laughs> this is so fun. Oh, I wish we had two of these, then I could do it twice. Bob, I leave that third many. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled poorly. I rolled a natural three. <laughs> And I'm using that Betty right now to re-roll the tactical nuclear missile. Uh, where's the piloting? Okay. I, like I rolled an 8 instead of a 3. Uh, and this is the level 4 character, so add plus 1 to that. So he's probably a 22. Alright. Is that plus... Is that plus... Oh, no. Uh, with uh, the computer? Plus 3 that you should get. So 25. Alright. So they are also launching their two light torpedoes at you. How dare they torpedo us? So we will resolve all these. These all resolve at once. Sorry. Wait, does it resolve at once, or do you resolve? Yes. I think you resolve the first fire first, right, and then the second fire. All resolve at once. Okay. And so, are we shooting their missiles out of the quote-unquote sky right now, or does that happen next round? Uh, you guys actually parked really close. I don't know if the flat cannon has that option at this, at this distance. What did you look up when you said flat cannon? Flat cannon is five hexes range. It's a short range. What does it say for it? Uh, the flak thrower is a weapon um, that is a range of five hexes, damage 3d4. 
um, special properties point plus eight. A weapon with the special property point is always short range. It cannot be fired against targets that are outside the first range increment of five. If a tracking weapon, a torpedo, would hit a ship in an arc that contains a weapon with the point special property, the gunner of the targeted starship can attempt an immediate gunnery check with the point weapon against the incoming tracking projectile using the bonus listed in parentheses of the weapon, which is a plus eight. Um, All right. The DC for this gunnery check is equal to 10, plus the tracking weapon's speed. So whatever the uh, missile speed is, that's the DC that our gunner has to exceed. All right, so a uh, speed of a light torpedo. So would I get that bonus to my additional roll, or is it just an, like... So are, be my Adam, are you wanting the flat throw or the other turret? Oh, I figure I should probably make sure we don't get killed. Because I think I have a higher bonus than than uh, Sivian. We have the goblins, too. Captain, so they Captain, can shoot what, what, stuff. What should we do, Captain? Uh, keep an eye on the uh, forward shields. Okay. <laughs> They're going to leave. All right, so... They're staying out of the Two way. Two torpedoes have launched. They are both on a have a successful hit. This they are plus eleven, so that would be uh, twenty five and twenty eight against your or the ship. Or is it against your nineteen? So both torpedoes will hit your shields. So hang on, uh, I just want to clarify. Did, did the the point weapon gets you get a free attack against an incoming against right? One that, we have yet to do that. Okay, got it. But what I want to know is, do I get my piloting bonus and other bonuses plus an additional plus eight, Bob? Yeah. And by the way, that the point weapon, if you have an incoming missile, that's a free attack, and you still get your original gunning attack. So in theory, oh nice, you can shoot down two uh, missiles per round. You can fire this twice per round. Okay. All right. All right. Do so I get the plus eight twice, or just one on the reaction? Only on the reaction. Okay. So, right now, as of right now, Bob's tactically nuclear missile ha torpedo has launched and is going to hit based on his, 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 his shot. Uh, the two rocket, the two torpedoes from the um, whatever thing is, the black whatever symbol her, are also going to hit you guys in the aft. Uh, you still have your turret to operate for Sivian, and you have your flak guns to operate for um, Ozzy, why don't we let Sivian resolve and then we'll resolve the rest of the torpedoes break. Go ahead, Chris, you roll your attack roll. Alright, so it's my plus four, right, piloting? So it's 1d20 plus four, piloting? Yep, yeah, plus two for the computer and plus one more from Jeff or from the ship, so it is actually plus seven. Alright. Well, that sucked. So, eleven is not going to hit. I think we're missing some pluses, but not enough. <laughs> it's tough to put up with natural force stuff. <laughs> Do we know from the scan what the uh, AC of the ship was? No, I gave you the offensive capabilities. Uh, so the ne next turn, Ilesi will decide whether she wants to scan for more information or whether she wants to target a specific system. Targets, weapons, shields, etc. Weapons, propulsion, life support. Propulsion is good. not an option. But core and engines are. So, all right. So, Ozzy, go ahead and roll your, your, your. Uh, your okay, I'm gonna do the reaction with the plus eight now. It's put to a nice. Yeah. What's the speed of the torpedo, Josh? I don't know, but a 34 is going to be successful. It show. says pew, pew, pew. Oh my god, he rolled a 34. <laughs> <laughs> On a natural 11. Even if it was a 12, like the nuclear missile, uh, that would be a 23 target. So you, yeah, you blasted that out of the sky. Uh, Alright, so now the second one. Green torpedo. This is your action now, right? Like, yes. First one was a reaction, this is your action. So it's the beginning of the turn. And... This one is going to be at a plus three, not a plus eight. Okay. So, uh, targeting a, targeting second torpedo. Oh, good shot! So the torpedoes explode just off the 
after the ship shaking you, the torpedo that Ghost launched impacts the uh, the sepulcher, damaging how much? Uh, zero. Looking it up right now, uh, it does five d eight damage. Oh, sorry. That's just crazy. It penetrates that's, shields. That's why Bob wanted it. Oh, uh, uh, it doesn't penetrate shields. But it's got radiation as well. But there, we can only shoot five of these. And then that's it for combat with this. Alright, so you did... What did you do for damage? Oh, right. Guessing that was Chris we just lost. And that got is, back. Uh, no, no, I'm there. 21. Got All right, you completely obliterate their port shield. There's one other aspect that I love about tactical nuclear missile launchers. Uh, if you have a weapon with this property, you do a wave of harmful radiation that penetrates shields and living starship hulls. Oh, well, living creatures on a starship uh, are subjected to a level of radiation for one. You mean where we're about to go? Well, uh, it it only lasts for one d four rounds. But if the oh, okay. if the creatures on the ship are undead, then I don't think radiation affects them. You know, it just occurred to me, we probably could have just come up alongside them and boarded them. Because we move faster than them. They can't get away from us. <laughs> You're gonna have to board them anyway. We're gonna have to board them anyway. I know, but just saying that like this is this is uh, academic. You have to and, disable them or they can make it a, they can make it painful for you. That's are the true. are the shields still up or did it destroy the shield? You you collapse their, their port shield? And it inflicted six points of damage on their hull. Okay, and I assume that that did not meet twenty percent of their total hit points, so we didn't do a critical tier. That is correct. Okay. So, Mike, we want to stand their left side because we messed up their shields real bad. Our shields have collapsed on that side. All right, so we are engineering phase, Captain Engineer. You guys have no significant damage. Jeff, that's you. You're the captain. Do you want me to go back to engineering or stay with the shooting of the things? Continue Cap shooting. Okay, Captain. No engineering round. Um, were we able to break up our move? Could we create some distance between us and them after we shoot? Do we move forward to spot two more squares or? No. Next time you can plan out, but don't forget your your flak kind of only re really reaches five squares, so. Yep. All right, Helm Phase, Captain, Pilot, and Science Officer. Just me. Do you want to target... Do you, Captain, do you want her to target something? Uh, what... Are we, we took out their uh, port side... Shield. Shields? But she can target... What can you target, Jules? I can target core, engines, life support, sensors, or weapons. It says, the next successful attack to the ship, to the target ship deals critical damage to that system. Mm. If Let's this go engines, right? What? Engines. We don't want them getting away from them. Yeah. But they right, have... get, get more. Make it an order. Captain, Captain, they, they are slower than we are. They will never get away. Uh, well, what if they jump, what if they jump to... Uh, oh, okay. Go to Chris Speed? <laughs> to drift, you know? That is true. Uh, disable their drift. LEC, focus on the uh, uh, engines. Okay, so target system is um, it's a push, which I figured what that means, Adam. It's harder, right? Me too. Yes. It's a DC five plus three three halves times target tier plus countermeasures. They have. I don't know, let me see if they have countermeasures. They are tier five. So one so and a half times tier five, seven and a half. Seven. Plus five is twelve. Countermeasures, countermeasures. I do not see countermeasures. I don't think they have countermeasures. Alright, so ILEC successfully targets their engines. Well done. Yeah. So we still have to roll a, a 19 or a 20, a natural 19 or a 20, to get a critical hit on that in, on the engines when we damage them. No, no, no. You just have to hit it. If you hit it at all, then it automatically does a... Uh, I'm reading, if you succeed, 
Then the next attack made by your starship that hits the enemy ship scores a critical hit on a natural roll of a 19 or a 20. So I think they still have to roll the 19 or a 20. So this, this is where it gets a little gray, Bob. The next attack made by your starship that hits the enemy ship scores a critical hit on a natural 19, right, 19 or 20 instead of just a 20. That's it. That's the benefit, is you got an extra 5% chance of doing a critical hit. If that attack deals critical damage, which is a solid chance based on what you guys have done already, that attack affects the chosen system. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yep, yep, if they don't uh -oh. fix their shields. That is exactly how you, you, you're not reading it right. Cause it, I, I that's not what it says right here. What is it? I think it was a was it? Was it? The next successful attack to hit the target ship deals critical damage to that system. Yeah, this is pre... pre prior to the Arata. So they modified it. I think they must have found that was too powerful, because then you do critical yeah. hits every single time you hit. Um, but you're, you're still going to hit and crush it. <laughs> so. I want to crush it more. <laughs> <laughs> you're so much fun. <laughs> Alright. Um, so it is now time for... Captain, do you have anything else before the helm goes? No. no you, 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 can, you can try to motivate or intimidate Trigger to do better if you wanted. So just you know, uh, you cannot do a push action on a system that is malfunctioning or wrecked. All right, so yeah. this system is not right. So my piloting roll, Mikey, is a natural two minus Ooh. two because you're intimidated. New round. New round. Oh, it doesn't last the whole thing. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, and I get a piloting plus 11, so I actually have a 7, uh, uh, 13. 29. <laughs> All right, where are you moving to, Josh? He can't move. I thought his engines were done. No, no, no we haven't fired yet. Uh. The, the computer, our science officer, has set it up so that if we hit, that we're more likely to hit their engines, but we, we haven't uh. actually hit their engines. Oh, uh, gotcha. Like improved our targeting essentially. Got okay. ya. So that is eight moves for me, and I turn to their starboard shields are facing you, even though you just have to around me. Go ahead, Mike. Josh, did your engineers in your engineering phase for the bad guy uh, rebalance the shields? They could get some shields back up, or put power to the shields. Yeah, I have to do that. Oh, that's lovely, him. <laughs> uh, that's actually divert. Yeah, divert. That's the engineering. And then your science <laughs> officer can rebalance the shields. All right, so they're able to rebalance the shields, uh, which means that I now have... That's so only half your speed, Mike. That is fantastic. 30, 45 divided by 4 joules is 11. 11, 12 at the front, and 11 everywhere else. All right. You have run circles around me. It doesn't matter because I have rebalanced my shields, but yes. Go ahead. Uh, helm phase is ended. Sex officers targeted propulsion. Gunnery phase. Captain. That's propulsion. Captain, permission to fire again with the tactical nuclear missile. <laughs> Things around, uh, I think it's hit, uh... I will assume you just gave me permission to fire the missile. And I, and I think that you have a plus one as well. Okay. Uh, and he's plus one because he's rolling as a level four person, so that's a uh, plus two. Twenty-four against AC. No, twenty-four against TL, excuse me. Which is both the same. Oh. In their case, it is a twenty. Um, they are launching both um, torpedoes at you as well. Ozzy, we have incoming! The 18 is going to be a hit, the 2 is not. So, Ozzy, you can use your reaction to hit the 18 and then target on your turn. Right? Yeah. T targeting, targeting incoming missile. Oh. Jeez. Oh, that plus 8 is so yeah. sweet. Yeah, that's perfect. I, we gotta revisit the bonuses. That seems awfully high. Where a four makes it, it like you can't fail. Well, I mean, it's also a speed plus ten, so it's kind of. But yeah, I, you're yeah. I understand what you're saying. Well, I think I mean, if you fire three missiles, you can't stop all of them. 
And if you, the second missile, he has to sacrifice his opportunity to attack your ship to take out the missile. So it is a good defensive measure to keep you from taking the damage. All right, uh, your attack, Hazen. Okay. Uh, uh, targeting enemy. Um, what are those things called? Engine. Torpedo. No, I already took out the torpedo. Oh, but the other torpedo is going to miss. I want to clarify that other torpedo. Um, it's not out of combat. It overshoots you. It's another item on the board, with the speed of whatever the torpedo speed is, and it can turn around and come back at us. It's not even though it missed its target lock. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. And then the gunner on that ship can roll again to see if it reacquires target. Oh, okay. So I, I, need a, I need a attack roll from Adam, I need a attack roll from Sivian, and I need damage from anybody with it, because I know Bob Peck. We're only doing, a, only doing a plus one now, right? Not a... Yeah, uh, if you want to use yeah. the computer bonus, it's just a plus one. Not... I got a four again. <sighs> Alright, well, I was firing the <clears throat> uh, flat cannon, so it's 3D. Sivian misses... Uh, Ozzy hits, so I need damage from Ozzy and damage from Ghost. We're looking at 20 from the tactical nuclear missile. Alright, so you obliterate their port shield again, inflicting 9 more. And Ozzy, what do you got? I got 9. 9, nine Heinz? That brings so is that a total of 18 hit point damage? Yeah, that brings them down to 61, which is definitely a threshold. So they have to sustain critical damage to their propulsion. Oh, to their engines. I guess it's glitching at this point. Yeah, it's at level 1. I right. say we fire at their weapons and make our approach to board. Uh, Josh, I might recommend you add an object on the board to track the... Fo the uh, torpedo, which is going to turn around next turn, I'm sure. Hey, can that torpedo actually acquire their own ship, or is it smart enough that they can control it to only acquire ours? So, good question. I did read this. The gunner has to make a roll, a successful roll, to to get control of it. Otherwise, it just keeps going straight. So, okay. in theory, if there was another bad guy, it could it could hit it hits whatever it runs into contact with. So it sure. could blow up somebody else, I suppose. Honestly, I think the gunner will just fire another torpedo versus try to recontrol that one. Oh, uh, you do both. You get the opportunity yeah, to do Yeah, both. no, I think you get both. Oh, okay. I, there, when I search on torpedo, all I get is, is ships that are that shoot torpedoes. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice torpedo icon there. Yikes. Yes. You sunk my battleship. All right, so their engineer is going to attempt to repair their shield, their their engine, their uh, glitching system. He's going to try to uh, patch the system, which is a oh, uh, Josh. The torpedo has a speed of sixteen, by the way. So we might. Why am I patching my my shields? Am I am I patching my engineering? <laughs> Wow, if it has a 16, then my 27 just barely got it. Yeah. So oh, I did roll a natural 4. <laughs> Alright, so the engineer successfully patches their, um, their ship, their, and their, um, these are words, Josh. Successfully engines. patches their shields. Their engines, however, engines. their port shield is not restored, so they have no port shields right now. We should just move out of the way and let the torpedo hit him. <laughs> oh my god, if we did. As long as he fails his gunnery check, that torpedo will hit their ship. That is... Captain or engineer? It should be uh, going away from them. Captain or engineer for a flying hellfish? Anything? Captain, do you want me to do engineering or stay with the tactical nuclear missile? <laughs> okay, Captain, if you insist. If you are sure. Are you sure? I think you are sure. Yes, uh... Ozzy? I can I can go defrag the computer if you prefer. I do not have to show. Oh, my kidding! Let's blow them up. <laughs> All right. Helm phase. Science officer, Captain. You want science officer to target anything or? Uh, do you think we have to? We should. Uh, 
target weapons? At this Probably point? better target weapons. Mm. Well, they said that they repaired the engine, so should we target the engine again? We'll always be able to keep in, keep up with them. So I'm less is, worried about that. That is the crappy part of this, so... And they don't care about life support. Yeah, I was going to say, don't target life support, because they yeah. don't have it on. On life support. Actually, your scan show life support is on, because how do you talk without something in the air carry the medium of sound? Gravity, too, mm -hmm. I suppose. You right. could target their sensors or their core as well. Those are the other options. I like weapons. I like weapons. Okay. Let's target go. their weapons. Do you roll? 22. Uh, 21. Successfully targeted. Alright. Um, okay, that's uh, it. I did my one roll for my. Everybody gets one roll, so put your wine in. <laughs> Captain, anything else to say? Uh, no, I think that's... Alright, opposed piloting checks. It's a big one, Mikey. Oh! Oh my Whoa. god, did you just roll two 20s? In a row. Oh, Wait, no, hold on, I think you rolled 20. You didn't roll 1d20. I rolled two 20s in a row. No, 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 because you rolled... You, you, what you I clicked was... my button that says d20. Fuck, really? Click it again. <laughs> click it again, just to show us. Yeah, click it again. This one doesn't count. I'm keeping my 20. Oh, of course. Yeah, that's fine. There you go, see? Okay, I'm, all right. I'm all right. <laughs> why, curiosity, why two? 31. What do you have for pilot, Mikey? Um, Put those cheaters on, buddy. Yeah, exactly. Uh, 18, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. All right. Yeah. So he is going to come in an arc and start turning one, two, three, kind of turn some. I, I, Josh, I have a 15 as my bone, my base piloting check. He is so. an ace pilot. <laughs> All right, I've made my move. Go ahead and try to make yours. Where's my the dot? field is still down. I, I've lost the orientation. Which side is which? Uh, the southwest side is the front. So, okay. So we want to come up from the southeastern side? Yeah. Yes. From there. Yes, when I get there. Okay. Mm -hmm. See you in the morning. Any time you're there, fine. Eight. Eight. Okay. Is there another ship at the bottom? Can you guys turn some? Uh, yeah. It seems like there's another ship at the bottom. Oh, uh, that's just about the door. Say goodnight, love you to the oh, okay. Hey, guys. Hey, good night, Amy. Night. Take care, Amy. Bye. <laughs> Sorry to woke you, Jeff. Actually, he's doing good tonight. He's doing very well tonight. So unusual thing. You guys are in position. All right, so we're gonna. I'm gonna fire my my two torpedoes again. I know what I'm gonna do. Miss. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Before you move into that round, the only other thing I might suggest is, uh, Mike, if you do a flyby, you can give the gunnery people an extra attack. It's it's a little risky because you have to like fly right over them, and if you don't make the roll, you might pay a price. But uh, just wanted to mention, so you knew all your options. <laughs> I need some more pluses from the captain. Um, if I felt like my gunners were actually rolling well. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, snap! <laughs> Fair enough. He got the um, bug shooting. Yeah. Apparently he needs to clean his lenses. Yes. <laughs> all 3,000 of them. All 3,000 of them. Um, yeah, you guys are facing the port side again, so uh, there's no shields on that side, so destroy away. Right, you're firing your, uh... Whoa. What's your call? Okay. 18 and 9. Oh, I gotta make one more check to, to gain control bomb. Oh, yeah, yeah. A gunnery check on the rogue missile. 
I think I can control the rogue missile. Yeah, it's got a 16 speed, so you can turn it around and take advantage of your 16 speed to uh, reorient. Oh, and I think it can reach us. I don't think we can stop all of them. We're going to take a well, hit. The missed. What's that? The other two missed. Oh, the other two missed. Oh, but they're out there now, too. Add two more torpedoes into the, uh, into the fray. Now we're going to need a good pilot to dodge all the freaking torpedoes that are launched after us. The two, two torpedoes have missed. The one on the top right. Okay, the... Let, let's get this right here. The blue torpedo. Oh. Coming back. <laughs> Why are there so many torpedoes? Should that have gone 16 hexes away on the last round, Bob? Uh... Oh, that's a good point. I suppose it would fire in a straight line if it missed. Yeah. Okay, the fact is that it has no shields, and you guys are gonna, probably going to pummel it with a, a nuclear weapon. It's not going to matter. Right this well, those things will still follow after us, though, unless the gunner misses. Well, we can just hide on the other side of their ship, <laughs> and then we'll plow into them. I love it. Once we disable it. Yeah. I love it. Anyway, well, for this round... For this, right. round, blue, for this round, the blue one shouldn't hit us. It should be 32. It would have been 16 and 16 for the two turns. I agree. So next turn, Please it'll be out. where it is right now. These further out. Okay. Targeting enemy weapon systems. And I'm taking a plus one because nobody else has used one yet. Oh, he's just taking a plus one. Oh, you might need it. You might. That might actually be necessary. 19 is a miss. Oh, it was 20. Damn, that has plus one in it. You know what? I'm going to Benny that one. Yeah. This, this is a big roll. That is a hit now. That's better. That was worth it, I think. Captain, would you like me to use the third tactical nuclear missile? Mm. Captain, you are very quiet, but I think you said yes. Everybody on the bridge, he said yes, yeah? He said yes. Yes, he did. I I didn't hear him say no. Yes, go, go, go. yes, trigger. I, I, I heard it. I heard it. Yes, I heard. I, I, I heard it. Do it. Shoot he him! Get him. him! Just say how good he was. <laughs> uh, Thirty-one. We only have two nukes well, left after this. Plus, plus one for your levels thirty-two. Yeah, thirty-two. Right. Plus, plus one because yeah, we didn't use any yet. You were enthusiastic enough that you woke him up. You both hit. Go ahead and give me your damage rolls. Oh, look at those ones. 24. I'll take two ones with an eight and two sevens. Yeah, what'd you get, Bob, Adam? I got seven. So 31. And Sivian still has to go. Oh, Sivian, go ahead. All right. I Get believe in you, Sivian. Now we're... Uh... Nope. I think it's a 20 to hit. Yeah, there's no way I'm in. Okay, that is a miss. There's no way I'm in on a twenty. You don't have piloting skill, huh? Wait nope. a minute. Wait a minute. You're adding five. So yeah, I got a four piloting skill. Plus two for computers. So I can give you an additional plus one. Yeah, yeah I got. Uh, so you your yeah, gotta, base your piloting skill is four. That's better than your uh -huh. base attack bonus. Plus two for computers uh -huh. is plus six. Um, plus your dex bonus. What's your dex bonus? Uh, pretty high. Uh, plus four. You're at plus ten. So your roll should be eleven plus ten. Twenty-one. Twenty-one is a hit. Can we, can we retcon that last one? Because I didn't add, I didn't put in my new dex bonus from the level up. You yeah, added it it, No, um, it, it would have been a hit. I wouldn't have had to have, um, used the used I'll give you your penny back. Aww. Thank you. You're so kind. What's the what's the damage on that gun? What are you on the light rail gun? Yeah, what was it the coil gun? Forty-four. He's on the other turret, so that's the coil gun. It's forty-four. Oh, he's got a good weapon there. Oh. That's one. I could have done it. <laughs> you, I know. I could have done it the other way. You're Six. milking this thing, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I meant to. What's the total? All right. 
So 31 plus 8 is not 39 total damage is what they do. There we go. You guys, you guys passed multiple thresholds there. There's going to be lots of glitching and critical errors. Yeah, I'm, I'm, at this point, I'm just going to say the, the ship begins to drift. Do, do we want to go through the exercise of taking out those last two torpedoes? Or are we saying that Mike's a good enough pilot to do that? There, you don't have to. I'm not going to wait I feel like Mike can get them to follow him and then drive them into the ship and cause the pilots to... to or or perhaps their, their, their systems are so damaged they can't even take control of the torpedoes and they just fly off into space. Correct. Sounds good. The, you, know, the, you note that there is a... Uh, I at least see in her scanning from the bathroom notes that there is a <laughs> a, a uh, docking port airlock at the front of the ship. Captain, Captain, I do not think we need to enter the ship. We tell them to eject the component of the stellar degenerator or we blow them up with a nuclear tactical missile. The captain is asleep. Ah. Uh, Snorkolepsy will be a problem with Captain Nala. She'll be sleeping at the helm. I do not like this. <laughs> Just, is she is she asleep at the wheel? Go 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 go! I I think before before she fell asleep, I heard her say that we I'm should. Even the dog. Even the dog's awake in the background. <laughs> uh, I missed it. Trigger, I heard something similar. I heard, uh, you are now the captain. I Look at me, Trigger, you are the captain now. I think, I, I think, I think I should always have, 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 have been the captain. We, we should hail them and tell them what we think. Yes, since but our captain is sleeping, it. you should hail them, Captain Trigger. It's, I like yes, the sound of this. We should say it all before Ayelisi comes back from the bathroom. That is She's cool. Okay. I, I, Lisi, you have a new captain. Your new captain Trigger is giving you orders now. Listen to him. Tell the ship and tell them to eject the 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 piece, uh, or we will blow them up. Yes, we already tried that. Uh, yes, but they are not dead in the water now. With us about to kill them. Right now, they are dead in the water. Hey, fun. Trigger, can you change the ringtone for our spaceship? I do not like yeah, this. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna change it to a single beep from now on because those, those, the, the, all those, the, those beeps are, are annoying. Exterminate, exterminate. Oh, That's that, what we should say to him. That is a cool ringtone. I like that ringtone. <laughs> so the, the captain gets on. You can see from the video display that the ship has got some significant damage going on in the background. Sparks flying, smoke. Typical Star Wars, the Star Trek, where the, you know the, 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 the even though the out of the 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 hole is damaged, the damage, but everything else is blowing up too. I know what you want. If you want it, you'll have to come get it. Uh, I think we should fire as the new captain. I think we should fire one more nuclear missile. These captain don't intimidate. Don't intimidate. Check. What's that? You guys are do missing it, the fun part. You guys are missing the fun part. We're supposed to board the ship. Oh, oh, we gotta board the ship. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's just so we still have two more missiles. Come on now. What are we gonna do? Come on. This is like Chekhov's nuclear tactical missile. You, you don't just leave it out there in the middle of Act Two of the play. I mean, if you see that, if you see a nuclear missile launcher in Act One, you're gonna see it fired by Act Three. You're gonna see a mushroom cloud by Act Three, and your head's gonna be falling out by Act Four. <laughs> I think we can fire and hit three times, and then I can I can go collect the torpedoes and and fly them to the to their ship and have their own torpedoes do damage to them. I love it. Uh, I guess we will have to board and kill them. I suppose. I kill so many things that are already, They're already dead. dead. <laughs> it's very satisfying to kill something that is already dead. Very satisfying. It is. You know what it is like. It is like when you oh, eat. Now a I see the dog. Delicious meal, yeah. <laughs> and it is so good, and you want to eat it again. Normally, you cannot do that. With these creatures, you can do that. That is. Uh -huh. You kill them the first time. Captain Nala, should we board their ship or shoot at them again? 
Uh, we should immobilize them. Yeah, they're, they're not they're immobilized. They can't go anywhere. They are disabled. But they won't give us the peace. They told us either to board the ship or destroy it. Help out. Can we so destroy it? We can't hear you, Jeff. If you're talking, we can't hear you. Sorry, sorry. Um, oh, Josh, Josh says up. we. Yeah, Josh says we have to board the ship. We're missing. We're missing a key component of this adventure. You're missing the railroad part. Right, Captain. we're missing the railroad car. So we need to get on the tracks and we need to board their ship. Mister Josh, and I suggest idea. you follow the tracks that that lead us to the docking port on the ship. Yes. So okay. Well, let's so, get on those invisible tracks. And uh, I am going to. Move our ship. There you go. Can we scan to see if we know more about the nature of the ship and who is in it? How many occupants are in the ship? Unfortunately, you, you, you know from experience that you can't scan a ship full one dead and get a count. Hmm. For life forms, because they There's don't There's no speed signal. All right, you don't show up because life forms. But there is no living signal as well then. We can scan and we can confirm there's no living creatures on the ship. Correct. Okay. Uh, you, you you get the impression there are some living creatures, but more of the rodent, all mammalian stack kind. Oh, like you? No. I think I think if our ship had a transporter, Bob, we could have just transported one of the tactical nuclear missiles to their bridge. Oh my god! Oh my god, Mike! Goo! I love. We have. How much does one of those cost? That is what I we should have been. Buying that next. <laughs> unfortunately, fortunately, unfortunately, there's no teleportation in this, though. Unless it's by a tele spell. The technovancer, the technovancer gets teleported later on. You can teleport using an RP. So, all right, you successfully dock the front of the ship. You. We send the goblins in first, fully armed. <laughs> no, I like that idea. No! We send the bug man in first! The, uh, dudes, um, uh, I gotta go to the bathroom. Uh, Simeon, perhaps you should talk to them. Uh, I'll meet you guys there in a bit. Do you oh. really have to use the bathroom right now, at this, uh, critical time, when we are saving the universe? Alright, uh, I've changed the map, you've entered the dock. I IBS? <laughs> hey, they probably died. As you enter the, the room, the uh, computer states, boarding party detected, self-destruct initiated, T minus two minutes. You have 20 rounds. Uh, Anti-personnel weapons deployed, cardium <laughs> organic life forms. Uh, where does our... You didn't our... tell me that we were going to be fighting. Ah! So... Ah! Jules, this is what's called being on the railroad tracks, Jules. This is not the railroad tracks anymore. You can leave if you want. No, I, I love this. This is fun. Give you a time frame, a twenty minute, a twenty round time to get, get in, kill, get out. We have. A guy listen. Needs to go to the bathroom. Not give her more. Bad. This is the this is, this is bad. And then we'll go. We're, all gonna, we're just gonna get exploded, and I'm never gonna get to go to all the planets. And see all the places and do all the Where things. Is he? And all the people. And Are we living in a time when it's okay to smack women to get them to be, be, stop being hysterical? Does the scanner say it is? The those weapons on the walls are going to shoot us. Ozzy, this is twenty five seventeen. Hashtag me too. Come on, and hashtag oh. me three, and hashtag me four. Come on. Oh. But they don't remember that. I mean, maybe it, maybe it's maybe it's in vogue again. It could be like you know the seventies, like airplane. Get a hold of yourself. Yeah. <laughs> also, it strikes me if you do need to pee, the average mammal pees for 21 seconds, and it is six seconds per round. So we would be losing three rounds of our 20 to pee. So you should have thought okay. about that before you left the spaceship, Sivian. But that's are, evacuation. Are you, you've also got to shake. You've got to wash. I gave her four rounds. I didn't want her to feel pressure. That was good of you. Listen, Sivian, you're a bug. Just pee on the floor. Uh, all right, man. All right, the the turret. Deploy in the in the room you're in. They fire at you, and a little pop gun comes out and unrolls the, the flag that says "To be continued." Uh, uh -huh. I think it'd be better to run the the 
with 20 rounds all in one night. Oh, I, I agree. Don't wanna... I agree. So Technically, agree. if you want to make sure you escape the ship, you have to run in for 10 rounds and give yourself 10 rounds to get back out. Uh, if, there, if somebody wants to do some culture checks and some knowledge checks about the systems, you'll, you can find out some information mm -hmm. that may help you. But we can do that on next game. Yeah. Trigger might even be able to disable the self-destruct. That might be a cool thing that Josh... Or at least delay it. Yes. Or delay it. Uh, delay. Oh, yeah. I didn't want to, I felt bad railroading you to get in here, but I really like the idea of the time. Oh, it's fun. Thing. It's a cool idea. Yeah, yeah, I like it too. It's one of those things where you encounter it and you're like, God damn it, this is so annoying. And then you're like, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> As I was telling Jules, I was prepping at lunch today. I go, I go, this is why I don't prep until the last minute because ideas like this pop into my head. This is, great. <laughs> this is definitely a stealable idea. I think that's a really good one. <laughs> so, and it was, uh, I, know I just I must know say, I it was so fun firing a tactical nuclear missile tonight. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Everybody's got. You've been it. waiting for that, haven't you? Oh, it was so good. Thanks for letting me uh, do that. I'll, I'll get back on engineering next time. But that was really good. <laughs> I, I did think that, that Starship Combat was a much better engaging event. At least it was for me. I had think it was for a lot of a lot of people. Um, it seemed better, and we will absolutely positively keep track of ammo next session because it will matter as you're running through here. I might suggest, like, I like what Chris and maybe Mikey and I did, where you've got your health and your ammo tracker just visible at all times. You guys might, maybe we all do that. So what I'm going to do, Bob, is I'm going to have Indian. I thought about this. I'm going to have Indian initiative war because I've been stepping through. I'm going to add a dummy character that's going to say, "Update counter" and then "Update ammo," and I'll have a paper sheet or if we need to do that. So it'll be part of everybody's turn. Okay, but that's we can smart. we can have it visible at all times. You can have your own things too. This, yeah. is, this is just for me, so because I know that you know I've I've tried to keep track of it in the past and I've I've failed miserably for you guys. So. When, when we is our batteries recharged? Like if we take a rest, do our batteries get recharged, or do they you, stay? You were, in the, you were in the you were in the drift for five days. Everything is fully charged right now. All right, I didn't know if we plug it into the wall or something. Okay, I have to assume you all have at least two batteries, two twenty charge batteries that are fully charged. Uh, I think I've got five right now, but yeah. All right. every time, Josh, every time you reset us, though, we lose those tokens, so we have to rebuild it every time for some reason. Oh, when well, we go to a new page. When we go to a new page, oh, yeah. the tokens are new. Yeah. That's true. But, but you guys rested, so you're, you should be fresh right now. Everything should be charged and fresh. Look at that. That's so cool. I like it. Okay. So. Cool. Hey, for the record, um, Josh has sent out that Paizo... Uh, Paizo. Paizo. Puzzle, Paizo uh, uh, puzzle page. Jules and I worked on it, and mostly Jules... Uh, we've gotten four out of the stick uh, pages solved. Holy moly, nice. nicely done. What's, well done. What's remaining? Which ones have you not solved yet? Um, I have, I've been working on the the, Sudoku one. Kabak, the the one that looks like the Sudoku puzzle. And then I just haven't gotten to the last one on Dimalco. Dim 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 Planet you just left. Yeah, I doesn't mean I know how to pronounce it. They Did you say Darmok? It sounded like you said Darmok. <laughs> Darmok and Gelata Tanagra? Daimalco, whatever the heck that is, with the one about the Oracle, which I just haven't gotten to yet. His arm's open. <laughs> yes. On the ocean. On the, sea. On the sea box. On the ocean. On the ocean, that's what it is, sorry. So. Alright. Um, so we'll be next in the, back on Mondays next week? Yep, sounds good to me. Perfect. Same bad time, same bad place. As That's long right. as our DM can uh, get stuff together. I, honestly, this prep was easy now because I already prepped this in case we. I wasn't sure how long we were going to get to get here. So if we'd gotten here at like nine, we'd be playing it. But it's you know quarter to eleven now, so uh, we'll bang it for now. Pick it up first thing next time, and that gives me some leeway to prep the next whatever what's gonna, whatever going to be next. So. I guess I got to work for somebody. I, I thought you were going to say, Jeff, as long as the DM has conscious players. Hey. Oh, shots <laughs> fired. Yeah. Tactical. The DM has no, the DM has no scotch. The truth hurts. The DM has no scotch. There is no, no, no more game like this. Uh, I have the lights on. I have every light in this room on right now. Uh, <laughs> I know.
know the last one josh was like all right everybody turn your lights off no we lost jeff yeah the boy was trying to make things as as, as dark and Ooh. yeah and spooky as possible so we get three seconds in and mike starts cracking jokes so i'm like yep and then adam's there and then jeff and all right and then just just sleep all right that didn't work out quite as i'd hoped <laughs> <laughs> i tried for you so uh, all right guys for the record, I think that uh, next week will be my last week of dynamic lighting, not that I'm using it for this, so I don't know that I would need it going forward. But, all right, gentlemen, have a great night. I hope you enjoyed. Yeah, it was fun. Thank you very much, Josh. Good, good night. job. Thank, all. You. Fun. Thank, Thank you. you. Very good. All right, everyone. Thanks. Good. See ya. Be safe, everybody. Good night, guys. Good night, Jeffy.